Hi everyone, I'm Audrey. And I'm Anthony. Together we are Rianne. Audrey? Yes. How are you? I'm well. How are you? I'm doing great. What's the matter good. for you? <laughs> <laughs> it's stuck now. Merck, now it's stuck in yeah, Audrey's Yeah, I was mind. like, wait, what's, what's the up, matter everyone? for you? <laughs> <laughs> now that you put the context in our head, I think we kind of get we it. We hear it. We hear <laughs> it. <laughs> we hear it. What's up, everyone? Some more Metal Gear Solid 5, The Phantom Pain today, but let's say hi. Hi. How's it going, everyone? What's up, everyone? Um, Gulf of Mail, Hala, Ola, how With you doing? First, Not the first, too. the first. Redstone, almost. Snatched it away from Redstone. Redstone. What's up? Thanks almost. for tuning in. Um, and Dan, Eddie, what's Dan's up? Back. How what's you up? doing? How you doing? Hello. Thanks for coming back. Metal Gear Solid Time. Very excited. Yeah, yeah. Raptor, calling it. Nano Nano machines. Machines. Raptor's calling it as early as possible. No, you probably mentioned Nano Machines earlier. I, every Metal Gear Solid, everything. I'm like, Audrey wakes when? up in the morning. She's, Nano Machines. <laughs> yeah. Any game that takes place before one, I'm like, where are the nano machines? Show yeah. me the nano machines. Because yeah. I know they're coming. I know they're coming. Um, La Bamba, the pain. <laughs> the pain. Dude, Cobra. Oh, dude, which which unit? Right? Foxhound? No. Yep. Dead Cells? Cobra unit? Beauty and the Beasts? Like, We should rank them. Oh, maybe not the individual member. Maybe also the individual members, but like which group is the best? Foxhound. You think so? Yeah, easy. But the Cobra unit, dude. Cobra unit is sweet. They were on Normandy together. Like they, they were like, they worked. They had history but together. But Ocelot. Yeah, yeah. Psycho yeah, yeah. Mantis. It's true, but I don't know. I don't know. They Sniper didn't feel like a team. Wolf. It's okay. We can think about yeah, okay, this. Okay, we'll like, talk, oh, we'll talk about it. They didn't feel like a team. That's interesting. Right. Cobra unit, like that. dude. Snake Eater. Okay, oh, I mean, we're getting ahead of ourselves. What's up, everyone? <laughs> I I I am I would be interested in uh, that's a fun yeah, discussion having this discussion. Unfortunately, you and I we're usually on the same page about things. Unfortunately, no, 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 we disagree. Do we? It's fun. We disagree, but we compromise. We we do. don't disagree for long. <laughs> we don't. Okay, okay. <laughs> anyway, I was just thinking it would be funny or it would be more fun if we could disagree about our. Oh, you, I think so we, we can might. make more compelling points. Oh, okay. Artificially you think Metal Gear Solid will be the thing that divides? Not divides. No, not not like that. Not like that. I mean, like that's where we divide? where we have things where we disagree on. Because I feel like our, our Final Fantasy um, ranking stuff was like pretty like similar. Like, yeah, we were able to. But the discussions were still fun. Yeah, we were still able to compromise like yeah. pretty quickly. Yeah. I thought. I what's up, everyone? Malice Souls, what's up, Malice? Welcome back. Malice. <laughs> I think you missed a little bit of the chat before you showed up. Audrey <laughs> yeah. was uh, reading aloud. Something. I was reading. I was trying to read Merck's message with a <laughs> poor Italian impression. I think I accidentally went the uh, the Chris Pratt impression route. <laughs> I don't a know. A little bit. That. Maybe it was a little and more. Trial to four with a triple hydrate. What's up? Trial. Thank you so much for the triple hydrate. Wednesday water triple delight. Hydrate. Thank you so much. When Ooh, Wednesday water delight. Thank you, Trial. How you doing? How many good? How um? Any new guitars? What's going on? Do like a March Mad Madness bracket. We've done a uh, Dan. Have you seen the website Tier Maker? You probably oh, have yeah. seen stuff from it by now. But, but we've used it in the past to yeah. like rank. How about things. if we do a bracket for like fighting? Like who who would be the ultimate unit or uh, the ultimate character? Like run an actual tournament. Well. Um, like run like, the yeah. bracket. Well, for the bracket, and yeah. do what like chat voting. Uh, it could be chat voting or between us. Who do we think would defeat the other person? Who would be the strongest of them all? Whoa. Not strongest. Who would, who would win in a fight? Who would win? I guess who would win? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because that doesn't necessarily mean. With there with okay. Strength, I'm already getting to, into strength. the weeds. Like, how much time do they have to prepare? Right. Ah, <laughs> there's there's I mean, a lot of questions. Yeah, we can we can flesh that out. Bees, that's true. Bees. Yeah, bees, dude. Cobra won World War Two, though. This is true, Malice. Malice. It's true. It's significant. This is true. Disagreeing about saying you disagree. Uh, yeah, it's already started. It's already started. When the Lomba, divide. Right. Oh no. <laughs> disagree for a bit until one of you just gives up and agrees. This that is marriage. Compromise. That is marriage. I'm I'm just kidding. That's Vital. compromise. That was <laughs> Italian. <laughs> she was trying. She's trying, Malice. What's up? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not even gonna try it. Uh, oh, Dan has not seen Tear Maker. Just um, is it oh, Tearmaker yeah. I'm not sure, but yeah, um, it's literally Tearmaker.com. T i e r m a k e r.com. 
There's a lot of pre-made things that you could just have fun and drag images to rank, whatever. Mm -hmm. But Audrey and I have done debriefing streams after Audrey played a bunch of Final Fantasy games, mm -hmm. played Final Fantasy VII stuff. We ranked um, Final Fantasy characters as friends. Like, yeah, how would we yeah. rank them? And it's like the like of, as friends, you know, like F tier, E, D, yeah. you know, all yeah, the way up yeah, to yeah. S tier. Mm -hmm. We did uh, Halloween candies too. Oh, we did. <laughs> we did. Yeah. We, we ranked Halloween. It's fun. It's a oh, fun yeah. time, man. Dots and we ate the candy. We ate the on candy. It was camera yeah, to your maker taste test. Live, we ate too so much, much candy. candy that day. I, yeah. I felt a little sick after that. Definitely. That was the first time I felt sick from eating candy. Um, are the snakes allowed in the tournament? Oh yeah, each, every, and maybe snake. every version of each too. Yeah, yeah, like a distinction between like punished, punished, uh, venom snake snakes. versus a uh, snake eater snake versus oh, naked yeah, yeah. snake. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because they're there's, different. There's, there's definitely, they have different experiences. Yeah. Psycho Mantis has to be, right? Just turn your controller <laughs> off. Yeah. That'll do it. Yeah. Yeah, definitely um, pretty busted. This is true. This is true. Oh, baritone guitar trial. Oh, nice. And made a salsa, salsa that's safe for human consumption. I forgot almost, you're in the salsa almost game. Made. Yes. What was it lacking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What was the last secret ingredient? It's too It's too spicy. Trial goes too hard on the spice. You do. Yeah, Spice yeah, yeah. master. Hopefully, candy corn ended up last. We didn't have candy corn. No, we didn't have it. But I'll be honest, I I don't mind candy corn. I like candy corn. Oh yeah, Maybe I, not okay, too much. Okay, we're all like this, we see we yeah. are on the same like page. It. Yeah. Fry sauce is here. What's up? Fry sauce, how's it going? Reese's better be the number one. Reese's was S for sure. Yeah, Reese's oh, we, is really. We, I like peanut butter stuff. Reese's, stuff, we are. So, yeah. Yes. Yes. Liquid Ocelot versus Liquid Snake. Yeah, th I think that's going to be really fun when we eventually debrief the entire series. Plasma Snake. See, where is Gaseous Snake? No spoilers. <laughs> Fry, Fry Sauce, no spoilers. Oh. I don't know. I'm just okay. kidding. I'm just making <laughs> okay. jokes. We're on the same page yeah. at this point, Audrey and I. Yeah, we are. Um, but speaking of... Well, I'm not really speaking of. I just wanted to mention that next Monday, Monday. Uh, we're doing a Halloween stream. We're calling it... Halloweeny. This is this will be the third Halloweeny we've ever done. We're yeah, excited. This they're a little bit different each time, mm -hmm. but uh, this time uh, we're gonna be playing a horror game, which we usually do. Some, we we celebrate with something spooky. Some, some spooks. Mark so mark your calendars. Mm. Monday, October twenty fourth at seven thirty p.m. Pacific time. It's on our calendar here mm -hmm. and on Discord. Mm -hmm. We will be wearing Halloween costumes as and we they, usually do. As we usually do, and they will be inspired from. Metal Gear Solid. Yes, Audrey has announced that in the past. Yes. Uh, I think last week, right? Yes, and I will say it now. Mine is specifically from Metal Gear Solid 5. Whoa, spicy. What could it be? What could it be? What so it look be? forward to that. Hopefully you guys can tune in. And uh, we weren't sure this year whether or not we were going to do Hollerini because mm. we were just like super busy. So we're doing it a little bit early. Mm. That's why mm -hmm. it's October 24th, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. like a week before Halloween. But... We've decided on the game that we will be playing together, and mm -hmm. I have it right here. Mm -hmm. Raise your hands if you've played this game or know about it. Eternal Darkness Sanity's Requiem for the Nintendo GameCube. I literally know nothing about this game. It is apparently the hey, first- Hey, Bigfoot, how you doing? The first rated M published by Nintendo. <laughs> I would have guessed Audrey would be mailing. If I had more time, I might have gone for mailing, but- uh. I, I mentioned this before. We didn't have a lot of time to prep our Halloween costumes. So it's going to be it's budget. Gonna be fun. It's going to be budget, a budget costume. <laughs> yeah. I had a couple ideas. I'll, 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 I'll mention them next week. Uh, but the yeah. one I, I decided on is uh, will be a spicy. We <laughs> might get banned. <laughs> what the heck? I'm, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, it should be fun, y'all. Audrey's Ocelot. Very for ah, it. I would. I really want to learn the revolver Ocelot, brother. Like routine. Just the whole thing. That'd yeah, the one, the one. But with like nerf guns. I, whatever the weight needs to be for me to execute yeah. those moves from three. Yeah, the routine. I would love to. Sounds fun. Um, do you horse Audrey? <laughs> okay, 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 I'm not gonna. Okay, I, I don't want to spoil what it is because it, it'll be uh, it'll be exciting. Be I think. I I believe still only M-rated Nintendo game, not 100 percent only. Yeah, yeah, so I don't know anything about it either. I just know that it's pretty dang spooky. I think I know one thing about it, but can, do you mind if I just read the little blurb in the back? Yeah, I'll read it. Kay. Go over it. Is it real or only in your head? Prepare for an epic psychological thriller 
where nothing is as it seems. As you delve deeper into the dark designs of an ancient evil, you'll have to fight to save your character's sanity and your own. Your character's and then your own? Yeah. I don't like that they're talking to me directly. Pretty sweet. Check out the back. Yeah. Back. I mean, look, this is not that scary looking. Come on, how scary can it be? It should be a fun time, and we've also decided, very likely, Audrey will be hands on the controller. Yes, so. And I'm also preparing a backup game in case this is too spooky for us. <laughs> You're scaring me when you say that. <laughs> People say this is a pretty scary game. I don't. I literally know nothing about the game. So, so this specifically regarding the M rating, the significance is that it's the first. M-rated game published by Nintendo. There's certainly published. other M-rated games on the GameCube, sure, but maybe sure, from sure. other publishers. Right, right, right. Calling it now Anthony's the Fear. All right. You got to be there on Monday to see Be there or watch the VOD. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is true. But yeah, if you're new here, um, we do the Halloween stream, or we've done the Halloween stream every year. We really like preparing for these special streams. We like putting in the extra effort. It's going to be a little rushed this year. Mm -hmm. But if you're curious, you can check the VODs for our previous Hollerinis, either here or on YouTube. Yeah. Um, they're fun. Um, yeah. And we have pictures of our previous Halloween costumes mm -hmm. on our Instagram. Mm -hmm. So if you're curious about our previous costumes, Maybe we'll they do are another there. post, too. Yeah, this video of, of, a, of the real-life dude who did all the gun tricks from Metal Gear Solid 3 even dressed as uh, I think Ocelot. that's the one we've seen. Okay. That's I, the actual performer. I feel like I've seen a couple, actually. Yeah. Like, a couple of maybe fans and maybe the performer, too. One is... I, I think I know which one it is. Yeah. And Tan, Eddie, with the triple hydrate. Thank, Thank you, Thank you so much. Have some of my tea. Eternal Darkness is cool right from the jump. If I recall... That's sweet. Because if we're trying to do, like, a one... If we're trying to get, you know, the horror stuff in one stream then it's fun that if it starts right away yeah we want to get spooked. work up to it yeah 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 because there's no promises we'll play through the whole game <laughs> <laughs> like is any of this for real or not it's secretly kingdom hearts you're right <laughs> how many door to darknesses are there is, is the backup game even scarier i don't know no spoilers okay. we're not going to tease that at all i don't like scary games movies and i don't think eternal darkness is scary okay oh okay i i like that perspective well hopefully you can hang out with us la bomba on that day then um We'll see how I do, because I can be kind of a chicken when it comes to these things. Mm -hmm. The only scary game I've played is Outlast. That one was crazy. I, I think I, um, I've um i heard about that one, and I feel like people in chat have recommended that to me before. Sure. There's Don't. different kinds mm. of horror, right? Yeah. Different genres, different, different methods of scaring you. There's yeah. like heavy atmosphere. There's tension. Mm -hmm. There's a sense of foreboding. Mm -hmm. There's jump scares. I there's, hate jump scares. There's like disturbing imagery. Yeah. Right? I love that. If I can see something down a hallway and there's like a light flickering and some someone's standing there, I'm like, ooh. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, 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 know, yeah, like, yeah. All right, Wait, what all right. What kinds of what kinds of scary do you guys like? And which ones do you definitely not like? I know yeah. I feel like jump scares I kind of have a bad rap. But I think they can be effective, but are, they're also easy to overdo. Yeah. They feel I don't know. I don't like it. It's a, it's Sometimes a they feel cheap. I'm like, yeah. ah, come on. Yeah. yeah, you know. But that's okay. I'm that's really, okay. I'm keeping an open mind. 12 shots. That's right. <laughs> hey, Neo. How you doing? I like Silent What's Hill up, Scary. Neo? I think I'd be down for Silent Hill Scary. Yeah, that that's like disturbing imagery. Mm. Uh, a sense of being chased or watched or followed is like a fear. The Ooh. scariness too, right? Yeah. Oh, uh, that's the kind of scary that keeps me up at night. And the scary that you can't see, right? Because of the fog. Yeah. Ah, yeah. oh, that's the kind of scary where I'm going to definitely be having like yeah. my pillows like on either side and I I, I need to like not... Yeah, hood up. Yeah, hood up at night. I'm like, I'm just under my blanket. Like I can't, they yeah. can't see me. So uh, or I can't see them. So they can't see me mm -hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. Callisto Protocol. Yeah. Yeah. It's the uh, former devs of... Dead space. That's right. That one's definitely like uh, shocking imagery mm. for sure. It looks mm. really interesting. I hope it's good, Fry Sauce. I hope it's good. It's like January, right? Yeah. Um, La Malice likes story heavy horror. Yeah, yeah. I think I'm, yeah. I'm down for that. Raptor likes eerie or spooky. Gore is just B movie funny at times. Gore can be. Yeah, I, I'm like. It's gore can be doesn't, effective. It can be. I, it doesn't like scare me, I guess, or it doesn't make. I don't know. I don't know. I don't. Yeah. So. 
but uh yeah i like it i like it rafa thanks rafa, for being here you oh. still in your your trip hopefully you're having fun rafa yeah it sounds like it um make sure for no credit spoilers and remember you're pretty good Thank thanks you. rafa Thank you. <laughs> thanks for popping in resident evil 7 outlast and the evil within yeah, you've been interested in Evil Within for a while. I have been. Maybe I feel day. like I've seen things from the second game, and I was like, ooh, this looks pretty cool. Yeah, knowing what Audrey likes about um, spooky stuff, I think Evil Within 2 yeah? is uh, probably... I don't know about, like, mechanically and game-wise, mm -hmm. but, like, mm -hmm. visuals and themes yeah. and imagery. Yeah. Bigfoot, all good. Thanks for popping in and saying hi. All good. good. Thanks, luck. Bigfoot. Thank you. Hope you're doing well. Um, choices for oh gotcha those are your choices for a scary uh, game gotcha, okay, gotcha, Dan. gotcha yeah. yeah yeah those are those seem like a I've I've heard of those at least but um, I don't know if I'll ever um, play them because I'm too scared mm -hmm. so malice likes I like the kind of atmosphere it makes you constantly expect something and it never happens ooh yeah. okay. just playing with your expectations like that yeah. yeah 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 I like it I like it but thank you guys we're looking forward to it Hall Arena 2022 is Monday in less than a week. Monday, October 24th, mm. 7.30 p.m. Pacific time. Please come hang out with us. Mm. Keep us company. We're going to be spooked. I'm going to try to be brave. Yeah. I'm yeah. going to try my best to be brave. Yeah, I mean, you're playing. So. I know. I uh, If I just freeze up, I don't know what's going to happen. Are we just going to have to stop Figure the Figure out how to pause it. <laughs> I don't know. Looking forward to uh, playing it, though. But yeah. um, speaking of it being on Monday, the reason it's like a week earlier than Halloween is because Audrey and I are taking a little break from the stream. We have some in real life, life stuff, so we're taking it as we're, we're doing like a little vacation from streaming for about a week and a half-ish. So check our schedule. Um, next week, we've already posted the schedule here on Twitch and on our Discord, but after that, we're going to be gone for um, about a week and a half. We'll be back close to the middle of November. So, uh, yeah. Sounds you can, good. of course, stay in, touch and, you know, stay in touch with us on Discord. Yeah. Yeah. Um, shall we jump into talking about Metal Gear Solid 5? Yeah. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid 5. You can hop into the game. All right. Let's hop into the game. Dude. Boop. Key Congo. Yeah. So how's that been going since you've been playing off stream? So I had the option of not playing at all off stream, but I resisted. I was, however, scared of departing from Mother Base and then returning to Mother Base and accidentally triggering progressing the story with mm. whatever is happening with the quarantine and the epidemic and the outbreak right now, right? It's okay. So I've departed from Mother Base to do side ops and I just stayed off base. Okay. We haven't returned. So we're going to go back to Mother Base at the beginning, right? But a couple things first. I explored and learned how the forward operating bases, the, the FOBs work. Mm -hmm. And I only did a couple of um, event missions. There's, I guess, weekly or bi-weekly ongoing events where you can attack a computer controlled FOB and not risk having you know any retaliation. So nice. I just did that as a way to explore what it is. I don't know how much how committed I am going to be with the um, attacking of FOBs, but I have also taken advantage of building additional FOBs for the sake of building more platforms to upgrade things. Mm. And that is, you know, I'm not fully engaged in that, but just enough to facilitate us upgrading more stuff for our on-stream playthrough. Nice. So that's so, to catch you guys up to speed. Cool. Just doing enough to make it better for on-stream. Mm -hmm. um, oh, yeah. Fry sauce makes a good point. I oh, think sure. we noticed that, too. Um, must smell really bad. But then, yeah, how do... But then you were... All He's like, not. He's not as stinky as that one time. Yeah. How come uh, all the gunk went away? I think I remember... Yeah, so Audrey saw off-stream. Like, I, I was, saw you I was, like, covered in blood. Covered. And then the next day, I came back. And uh, look clean. at him. He's clean. Look at him. He's clean. Yeah. Is there like a max like dirty and then suddenly they like clean you up automatically? Because you didn't shower. You didn't maybe. go back to shower. So. Maybe. Or maybe one happened. of the things I went on, it rained. Oh. I don't know. Is that a thing? Okay. Well, I don't know. Yeah. But I mean, that would be an explanation. Yeah. Um, speaking about uh, eternal darkness. Oh, sure. It's, um, hold on. It's more cool than it is scary. I think it'll be okay. Sounds Perfect. good. Yeah. Hopefully yeah, we can I like stick that. With it then. And Frysaw says the best way to deal with scary stuff is to just yell at the TV constantly. That's me. Ashley, I'm more of the type to just like hide and just yeah, yeah. like like You cover your face for sure. I, I cover my face and I just like seize up. And I found I, and throughout I my react. life, if I'm nearby someone who's more scared than me, yeah. I feel way less scared. Okay. So are you gonna feign fear so I can be, I, so I can feel more uh, empowered or you think we're just going to both be scared if, if you do that 
stream is just over. We okay. Just, and we just end the stream <laughs> okay, okay, as soon as okay. we're both scared. More shower scenes with quiet. Is is that unlockable? More is that what than you're hoping once? for, Malice? Huh? Oh, Malice. Okay. Okay. <laughs> maybe. Pretty funny is uh, how as soon as I give you the ability to build more ba bases slash platforms, there's a disease that can kill a lot of yeah, your soldiers. Dude. That is funny. Dang. I guess it. They got us. I mean, it. The it's ultimate a, troll, your it's boy. It's like a real. Uh, yeah, I guess that's like a real thing where you know, like a lot of people moving in, a lot yeah, of people from, from all different over. areas. Yeah, yes. and they're all just confined in this the densely packed space. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. In the middle of the ocean. Yeah. So yeah, did it rain? So maybe. Yeah, it could be that then. Yeah. Okay, so we I explored the FOB stuff. One of the side ops I did was another one of the wandering mother base soldiers. So we oh, have we have nice. another photo to show pause. So we we're going to do, do that, that first. And we don't have any new cassette tapes. Okay. But there are two cassette tapes I'd like you to hear. Okay. And um there are actually two additional new pause diary tapes. Oh. Now from what I remember chat correct me if I'm wrong, the pause diary tapes that you got at the beginning of this game which are the same as the tapes from the end of Peace Walker were her secret diary tapes of when she was like kind of keeping audio logs of when she was a spy on that Mother is, Base, right? I believe that is correct. Yeah. However, what we understand now is pause is only the pause we know, not Pacific Ocean in terms of the uh, the damage to her brain and the, the mental issues she's dealing with right now, the uh, dissociative identity and all that stuff. Yeah. She is only this schoolgirl. Yep. She's a version where, yeah, you're right. There's no Pacifica Ocean. There's no... There's no Cypher. Uh, cypher. She's just... She's just on Mother Base. Mm -hmm. So it's like these these diary... I want you to hear them. Okay. Oh, so you think... Oh, are these diaries from that perspective of just this like... It's like an alternate reality perspective where... Then these the aren't The betrayal real. didn't happen. Yeah, I don't know if these are real, but these they're, are uh, they're certainly interesting and kind of tugged at my heartstrings. Okay, yeah. About like what, like, just give me that feeling of what could have been. Oh. So you can listen to that? Yeah, yeah, complete. definitely. Okay. Pacific Ocean, that name, yeah. yeah. Pacifica Ocean. Pacifica Ocean. Just okay. Ocean or Oceana? Ocean. Ocean. Okay. Okay. So we had one from earlier and then we got another one, uh, I think in the Fieldsy last tapes, year. let's go. Let's go on a field, a field trip. Field trip. Field trip, right? Field Is that trip. what people say? MSF Mark. MSF. There's going to be a kind of festival held on Mother Base. They are calling it Peace Day. Snake and his men may be with a little nation. Background but music. Still an army, it's the song. And that means oh. sometimes they have to fight the bad guys. Of course, they should not fight at all. It is obvious to me that any problem can be solved with reasonable discussion. Maybe Snake and the others think so too, because the idea is to set aside war for one day a year and relax in peace. I do not know how it came about, but apparently Snake and Miller got the idea while they were talking, and everyone on Mother Base went along with it. To think that deep down they all share a love of peace, that makes me happy. But never mind that. Somehow I have ended up singing on stage. Miller was all, come on, both our names mean peace. It will be great. Why does that mean we have to be in a band? Then he roped Professor Galvez in too, saying, hey, Galvez comes from peace too. We are the perfect act. Galvez I'm not too. sure Miller really understands the origins of the name Galvez. But then again, you always have to take Miller's talk with a grain of salt. What I cannot believe is, he went and told everyone we'd be performing together without even asking my opinion. Now everyone thinks it has all been decided. I like to sing, but I have never had to perform in front of a crowd. Mm. I do not think I'm up to this. But everyone seems to be looking forward to it. I guess I would hate to let them down. And anything is better than letting Miller sing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was mean. Miller said he was going to write a song for us. I wonder what he Oh, Miller wrote this song? It's funny. The more nervous I get, the more I find myself looking forward to it. Her voice is, like, extra sweet. Yeah. Because I think even when she was, like, feigning this persona in Peace Walker, I don't remember it being this, like, yeah. peppy. It, it could also be, like, like, an element of, like, they're 
putting a little bit more into the performances for this game, the like grander. Oh, scale. that's true, but but I but don't I know. Maybe there's the a difference. It feels different. Yeah, it feels different in that maybe this is the only pause that's in her now. Yeah, know? it it's a it's um There's unsettling. No it is a little unsettling it's because like, of what we know. You know the truth, and then also this act is like, mm, mm, you know, like I'm like, like oh, is this God, an act? Previously it was an act, but yeah. okay. So here's entry two. Hey, uh, Dragonov, how you doing? Hey, Dragonov. Zadornov. Oh yeah, Miller is very different yeah. now. Punish Miller, Miller. Miller ain't writing no J-pop songs anymore. No. Let's just say. Wait, I want to hear this acoustic version in the back. I like I think it. He's tone <laughs> deaf. I guess the guitar backing sounded good at least. But as I was wondering how to break it to Miller, Professor Galvez took out an odd instrument. It was just two antennas sticking out of a box. More like a radio than a musical instrument. Theremin, right? He said it was invented by the... Oh, is it? Yeah. But why would Professor Galvez own a Soviet Russian instrument? Why would he? I asked him... <laughs> And he told me music has no borders. Well, I cannot I mean, argue with that. I do like that. Good yeah, yeah, I mean. something people of any nation can appreciate. Why not abandon war and just make music together? But anyway, the professor offered to try playing the melody on his instrument in time with Miller's guitar. <laughs> it was like something from another world. Wait, that sounded really good. <laughs> It fit Miller's guitar backing really well. It even gave the song a charming down home kind of feeling. That's the melody from the Miller song. Miller was overjoyed. That is it. That is my melody right there, he said. It sounded totally different from when he sang it. But hearing the professor's version, I thought I could probably sing it. Then Miller hit me with the next bombshell. Buzz, you write the lyrics. I did not know whether to scream or to run out of the room. There was only one week left until peace day. I'm kind of expecting one of these new pause diaries to like get all corrupted at the end. Oh, like, dude. Like, I'm, I'm paused or something like that, you know, and just like. Because the end of crazy. the other diary tapes is when Chico discovered her tampering with Zeke. And she's like, That's, we have to do we have to do it now. The day before peace day or the day of peace day or something like before, that? It was before peace day. Day before peace day. Day before peace day. Dude. Dude, so no. it did. This does. Doesn't this feel like an alternate reality version of those tapes? You know. Oh, it is. It definitely is yeah. because she. Ha we have tapes. We have heard the tapes where she's talking about Being singing, spy, yeah. and she's like super like, oh, I don't. You know, they're they're doing this peace day thing, yeah. and she eventually warms up a little she, bit. No, to no, it. she does. She does at the end. She's like, oh, I guess I'm kind of looking forward to it, you know, or whatever. But yeah. she's very soon today about yeah. it. Here, she's like. Fully. Like full on, like. Fully paused. Oh, you know. Like, oh, this is crazy. So I'm yeah. glad we listened to these. Hope yeah, you, me hopefully too. you like them. Miller's into baby metal now. You <laughs> I can see it. Wait, there's that, so there's mad. that, like, J pop group that's like baby metal, but it has that um, wrestler that, that I think American. Oh, um, yeah. I think I know who you're talking wrestler. about. Wrestler. Anyway, I, I don't think they're a group anymore, but I remember um, seeing that, and I feel like Miller would be into that. That's the Aww. same melody as that theremin. Yeah. Yeah, the music is vibes. I want to hear it. Yeah. How, how's everyone's day or night going, King Dragonov? We are doing, doing well. I'm excited for more Metal Gear Solid Five. How are you doing? How's the family? Punish Snake and Fiddler Miller. Or Fiddled Fiddled Miller. Yeah, that's, that's, that's it. All right, so real quick, what I've been doing with staff that has joined, um, I head over to all staff. I currently have it sort by recruitment descending. So the top is the most recently joined people. And then I've just added any Kikongo to the quarantine. So that's the situation right now. Perfect. Um, here's the base facilities. Uh, I've, I've gotten four more FOBs, but they're really, ex they're really expensive. Yeah. So I'm just like only researching a couple, prioritizing the base development. Wow. Just for the resources. Hopefully that'll pay off. Um, I mean, these are going to yeah. get destroyed by the end of this game, right? Yeah. Because we don't know anything. We There were no other locations 
alternate locations by Metal Gear, right? So, so oops. the plan now is to head back to Mother Base and see whatever trigger, whatever cutscenes okay. trigger. I'm excited. But then we also do have a new photo to show pause. So yeah. let's take a look at that photo real quick. Um, I bet these were good recording sessions, La Bamba. I bet. Yeah. Oh, yes. nice. Let's pause fishing uh, with that. There MSF. must be an acoustic guitar theremin version of Love. Um, oh, we deterrence. should do it then. <laughs> Please select a landing zone. Back. Yeah, they get more expensive the more you build. That makes sense, right? Because you're just maintaining. Oh, oh no! You mean the cost? The actual cost of them increases. Yeah, the more you get. Oh, yeah. okay. You ready for whatever so, cutscene may or may let's not play? Do it. Future game spoilers, Ballas. We're just we're just predicting based on. Okay, it doesn't feel like anything's triggering. Okay. Dog. What if Paz has multiple personalities? One exists to protect the other from harmful emotional situations. Could be. Um, it mean, definitely feels like some sort of dissociative. I mean, I I, I think Snake also kind of has. Yeah, Audrey and I are taking a step back and wondering if she exists at all. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. This whole thing is just a hallucination. I know? think it's maybe stems from Snake. Um, what is it? The pressure on his the cerebral cortex that yeah. causes uh, hallucination. A oh, visual that. cortex that causes hallucinations, and then maybe from there he's imagining this pause that's like, you know, repressing, repressing her uh, her uh, spy identity. Oh, there's another thing I totally forgot. I went into Huey's lab when he's working on, um, what did he call it? Battle Gear? Battle Gear, yeah. And it triggered a cutscene, so I was like, oh, so I closed the game. Oh, okay, cool. His subconscious Mayo, um, <clears throat> it's Snake. Yeah, I mean, Snake. I don't know, what, what did you even, like, he's, he's, he has literal physical chunks Please pressing on his brain. Yeah, he's got some chunks Doing on the brain. Doing things to sure. his brain. Um, so... Let's go to the medical platform first. A hallucination. Pause. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what... He's got some problems. Yeah. So we're just like... We're just wondering whether or not this is like an unreliable narrator situation or not. Yeah, because they haven't specifically said... <laughs> what's real and what's not real because why <laughs> would you right they just but, tease it. but the doctor said hey this is happening you may be experiencing you might experience these things because this thing is happening but we don't know for sure we just yeah. know we just know like oh this is something we might have to deal with uh king dragon ops playing need for speed pro street oh cool Family's fine. Daughter's playing with grandma. Love it. Love to hear it. We appreciate the Wife's occasional cooking. updates. Aww. There's a picture of Dragonov and the daughter sleeping in her baby crib. Aww. <laughs> so sweet. Oh, Another photo, right? Why there is it, it is. Snake? Somebody took this while we were fishing. That day, her condition seems to progressively really be... Or she's reacting fish more to the photos. Yeah. Not. Just waiting for a fish together can be the most fun of all. <laughs> oh, yeah. Chico got all worked up and almost Chico. fell into the sea. Now we know some more fishing. Tell me, okay? Chico is no longer with us. Yeah. So tired. Oh no, this is the same reaction. Mm -hmm. I will just lie here a while. Ay, 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 dude. What's gonna happen with her? Mm. Let's get this 14 slash 23 year old some clothes already. Fry sauce, that's what I'm saying. We keep trying to do this uh, FOB stuff. Oh, they're forcing yeah, you yeah. to do more? They're it's just tutorialing to teach me oh. the interface and all that. Yeah. Okay, so there's weekly events, there's online multiplayer. Mm -hmm. You could probably form a clan or a guild or whatever. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Your own PF, your own private force. 
Okay. Yeah, it's just obnoxiously showing you this stuff, La Bamba says. It feels a little... It's all good. They don't know where... The game doesn't know we're streaming it, so... <laughs> True. Okay. Everyone I know skipped right through this stuff. Me too, La Bamba says. Yeah, it's, it's like... all good. Well, I mean, yeah. if I was playing this off stream, just purely me, I'd probably read it and do it all, but... Oh, yeah? That's not how we do these. But I just want to get... I I would probably skip it because I just want to get back to D-Dog and the story and things. That's true. Um, Let's check on Huey real yeah, quick. Yeah, Fry Sauce, you just reminded me that she was posing as a younger person, but she they was actually... They never told us the true her, age, right? I'm sorry? They never told us the true age, did they? Yeah, they. I thought they did, at least oh, did they? 20s. Or, uh, Fry Sauce, um, I think 14 is what she was posing as, but she was actually 23, maybe? 14? Was it 14 or like 16? I thought it was like 16. Maybe, yeah, very like young. Because she's supposed to be in university, but like mm -hmm. young in university. Oh, is that it? Oh, because... Yeah, because Galvez was a college or, professor. Um, um, <laughs> um, yeah, Galvez. Um, yeah, that's right. I do feel like she looks maybe more her age here than previously. Sure. Um, shown. But this is way more detailed too. That's true, and it, you know she was wearing like a like a school uniform yeah. type thing before. Okay, so I think something happened here off stream, and then I just closed the game. So yeah, Pacifica Ocean is like twenty something posing as a something teen. Right, 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 Makes sense. right, right, right. Punished cause. Okay, Dragon Elf, enjoy. Yeah, and those lens flares, that's right. Have a good meal, Dragon Elf. Thanks for checking in. Oh, those little toesies. Yeah, metal gear. You got new legs. <laughs> a Forrest Gump. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> she must be around thirty now because of the time jump. That's, That's right. right. It's yeah. Nine years. I so. Hmm. That's it. It's a pretty cool little cutscene for the progress. Yeah, thing. that was cool. Um. Oh my God, pause is just gonna steal this again. So oh <laughs> well. So we suspect that this pause is not real, right? At all. I suspect it, a lot of this is and not And don't real. confirm. Yeah, don't confirm. But yeah, I guess Snake um, rationalized <laughs> and maybe aged her in his mind, given the time that's passed. And yeah. things. It's just interesting. It's just something to think about, I guess. Like, if she still looked like her young self, we would know for sure. Like, oh, this is this is not right. Yeah. This is not right. But I guess maybe... Oh, maybe I'm thinking about a movie, but if I say it, that's super spoiler. Oh, do I know <laughs> the movie? I don't know if you'll remember uh -oh. this detail. Uh-oh. Oh, uh, maybe you will remember this detail. Mm -hmm. I'm curious now. Yeah, she would have aged nine years. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Her cover was a 16-year-old. Gotcha, okay, okay. Devil. So Devil. How, how's it going, by the way, Devil? Yeah. Get on mirror. <laughs> Mission fa uh, fishing mailed. Gustavo, what's up? How you doing? Hey, Gustavo. We're just getting started here. We, now uh, we have a yellow dot. Why? Yellow dot means go check Something that out. Something new? I just went in there. Oh. I'll check one. Maybe he forgot something. Okay, nothing. Oh. Oh. No, he just says that when oh. it's just a normal. Okay. <sighs> Huey. I don't know about Huey, y'all. Don't know about Huey. Step Brothers is the movie Anthony is thinking about. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that movie. So I, I haven't, but I'm <laughs> it's funny to think that that would be the, the movie. That I want to say it because it's an example of like noticing characters not changing reveals Ooh. the twist of the movie. I know a movie like that. So if I say it, it's what? I you know can, a you movie, can type it in our chat. I, I know think. a movie, but I don't think it's the movie you're thinking of because I think you haven't seen this movie. Shh. I'm it's also not 100% sure if you, you've seen this movie. Oh, We're thinking of a separate movie. Oh, God. Um, is Step Brothers the movie with slapping the bass? No, that's uh, I Love You, Man. Oh, okay, because my brother 
quotes that all the time. A lot of and I don't know think. that. I don't know that movie. Right, it's called "I Love You, Man" with Paul Rudd, right? Oh, I don't know. Oh, Step Brothers is uh, with Will Ferrell. Wait, D Dog right? is out and about like that? Yeah, he's with us. Oh, I, wait. How come I feel like I haven't seen D Dog around the base like this? Like oh. this? Well, he gets off the helicopter with us. Oh. Sometimes I think he Can runs off though. You're right. Thank you. Okay. Forgot his cigar. We got our cigar now. Okay. All right, let's head out. Um, we haven't done Roger. anything that triggers a new cutscene right. regarding the quarantine, so we'll just maybe on the way the out. Um, did Snake yeah, say Metal Gear at all? It would be weird not to hear David Hayter say that. Yeah, I don't think he said it in that, like. You're talking about with, in this game? Yeah, with that emphasis. I mean, there's no David Hayter in this game. No, uh, but did, has Snake said Metal Gear? So I guess the new actor. Yeah, he, I mean, I, I feel like I remember a Metal Gear. From this actor? Oh, from David Hayter, yeah. Oh, no, no, no. But I mean, but this. But from Keith, Kiefer. 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 Kiefer Sutherland? Yeah, like. I don't like, think I've heard that yet. Yeah, yeah. So I don't think. Yeah, it'll, it'll be interesting if he says it, if he tries to say it in the way that David Hayter made famous, you know? He's going to do his yeah, own voice. Yeah, I wonder. Like, imagine in, uh, you know, this Ocelot saying, brother. You know, like. Yeah, dude. Liquid Ocelot. You haven't seen Step Brothers yet? Uh oh. Have you? No, I haven't. Oh, dude. Which put one it on is? The list. What, wait, what? Sorry, what? Is that Paul Rudd? Or was that I Love Me, Man? Will Ferrell is Step Brothers? Yeah, yeah. All I, all I know from. I think I have some imagery from Step Brothers, but uh, one thing I remember is so much room for activities. That's that movie, right? I have no idea what you're talking about. Okay. I Love You, Man is I Slap into Bass. Okay. Yeah, gotcha. So many mysteries, Devil. So, so I have many seen. Mysteries. I have seen Slap into Bass. Okay, it's that's Will Ferrell and John R. Uh, John C. Riley's movie. Okay, Ferrell, Ferrell and Ferrell. Ferrell, sorry, not Ferrell. Ferrell and Riley also in Talladega Nights. I also have not seen that. Okay, so all we have to do to progress now is the main op. Cool. I want this ocelot to meow. We that's all we want. We just want ocelot to meow again. Hunting down. Ready? All yeah. right. So also, loose end is we possibly have a young liquid. Snake on the base. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Slap into base. Boss, there's a target on the run somewhere on the savannah. Slap into mother, Your job is base. to find and eliminate him. He's a logistics officer for the PF known as Rogue Coyote. On the side, however, he colluded with the Buta regime, abducting people from Mbeli villages and supplying them as slave labor. Mm. That's right. He's a human trafficker. His victims ended up all over the place. Brothels, black market, organ trade, diamond mines. And Ooh. he was the one who sent Shibani and the other kids to the devil's there house. There it is. But then mm. an Embeli rebel group finally added him to their hit list. The target decided it was time to quit. And now he's trying to leave the country. He's trying to bounce. If he makes it back to his country, he'll be no more than a civilian. And he'll avoid facing a court martial. Like so many other war biz junkies. I'll bet he plans on enjoying a new live finance with his blood money. Intense. The order is to take him out. How you go about that is up to you, boss. Okay, don't let him escape the country and just, you know, get away from all his crimes. Yep. Let's get this human We have, like, a personal hurt. stake in this. We do? Yeah, because we rescued those kids. Oh, oh, that's our yeah. personal stake. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mission accepted. Troy Baker meowing. Okay. Just, he could do it. So normally, we've talked about this on stream. We kind of just like to go in, lethal, make it quick, right? Yeah. But we, I, I feel like occasionally when we've chosen to extract the targets instead we've gotten a little more story this is true that we otherwise wouldn't have gotten yeah. so I'll, I'll keep that in mind all right um yeah that's it brother so many activities yep hey i gotta ask do you like guacamole well that's another reference from the movie is that a reference or are you asking us no that's gotta be a reference to the movie because uh, dan also put a little laughing okay well <laughs> emoji we don't know it i don't know it <laughs> there we go <laughs> look what snake would absolutely slap this base <laughs> Slap into mother base. Oh, man. But does he have inferior jeans? <laughs> jeans. Denim. So naturally, we're extracting him. That's right. Yeah. yeah. The human trafficker. We'll see. we'll see. Yeah. Maybe he can do some good around the base. We'll but, abduct uh, him. Yeah. See how he likes it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Oh, yeah. We also have uh, Eli. Yeah, that's what I was talking about. Oh, sorry. You were, oh, yeah, yeah, liquid, yeah. yeah. Oh, liquid. Right, right, right. I mean, not confirmed. Oh, not yeah. Don't look, oh, don't look at the credits. Don't look at the credits. Don't look at the credits. Chat, tell us. Chat, tell us. 
human traffic around the side. Uh, twin, twins linked by cursed genes. That's right. No, it's genes a Genes and nanomachines. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is. It is from the scene you were talking about, Anthony. Oh, okay. The, um, activity, so many activities. What is this? Revenge abduction. Traffic the trafficker. I know. This is the ultimate, ultimate revenge. Oh, intel file. Yeah, spoiled on Detati. punished venom snake. We're going to Detati first. Oh god. Sorry, I need to like listen because this intro is telling yeah, us where to go listen. first. Intel file in the uh, village. Um, okay to look now. La bomb says thank you. Spoiler: Kojima's name was in the credits. Devil. Come on, dude. We're not looking. Don't just read it to us. Oh. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Great band name, Jeans and Nano Machines. Okay, right, so he's probably I hiding like out here somewhere. That's what it's saying. But it's a large field of movement, so to narrow it down, we got to get some files from here. I think that's what's going on. Marker placed. So we're going to head to this village and uh, interrogate someone to tell us where the files are. Should be quick. Unless I F it up. Extraction arrived at the mother base. Enemy equipment detected. We made it to the Detati abandoned village. That's where the MEPF's coded transmission came from. You know what sucks? There's got to be a transmitter there somewhere. It could have the what? intel file containing the encryption key. Look for an antenna. This. All the combat deployments? Mm -hmm. So I don't know if you... Did I explain this to you before? You can send groups of your soldiers mm -hmm. to go out and do missions. Mm -hmm. Yeah. These ones down here allow you to disrupt supplies of equipment for the enemy. So if they complete this one, then for a short while, enemies won't have helmets. Mm. Or there won't be surveillance cameras. No body armor, no shotguns, things like that. And I had been doing these before streams. Yeah. So that on stream, the enemies are like... F'd? You know, F'd. Yeah. However, because of the outbreak, I can't send soldiers out. So the enemy's fully equipped right now. Oh, because of the outbreak? Oh, because they're in quarantine? They want to contain it. They said we can't dismiss soldiers, try not to bring more soldiers in. So, of course, na naturally, I can't dispatch them around the world. Don't want to risk spreading whatever this is. So right. I can't send out combat deployments. Damn. So the enemy is stocked up. We're playing hard mode right now. That's okay. Two shots. Want to get the helmet off? The key here, honestly, is shoot him in the legs. Oh, shoot him in the legs. Get him in the knees. Knee, um, the kneecaps. Shooting him in the kneecaps is non-lethal. So I told Audrey a little bit about this, but <laughs> yeah, depending Rapper, on where... No headshots, kneecapping. Yeah, Rapper, depending on where you hit them on the body, <laughs> the it. tranquilizer takes effect at a different speed. Raptor and I are on the same page. You got this, Anthony. After all, you're pretty good. Thank you. <laughs> That's what Snake says. Thank you. Meekly. <laughs> Hey, cookies y leche. Who do you guys prefer to use as a partner on missions? D Dog? D Dog. D -Horse? Is so good. I think um, by this point, so I don't know. We don't know if there's any other buddies. So we have D Horse, uh, D Dog, and Quiet. And um, Anthony's. There it is. There it is. Nice. Anthony's had a fair bit of amount of time with each, I think. But we always go back to D Dog. So that's where the file is. It's right there. Mm hmm. Yeah, Anthony really likes that that D dog just marks enemies and yeah. it pops. It feels OP, but I'm cool with it. Yeah. And D dog is just absolutely precious, so But Quiet was cool too, and seeing Quiet like run around in the back and like do her thing Definitely. kind of um, very cool. Covertly was is really cool. Does the butt crack prank work in this game, Devil Ass? Civilian abducted by the target. Okay. by handing over his list of buyers they'll guarantee his safety but that's a good question this. devil why an NGO? Why run to that sounds like it would be effective used to be a mercenary until he took a sleeping dart to the knee that's right <laughs> oh. uh, quiet's yes. been my go-to merc Yeah, quiet's cool. Honestly, 
This is safer. Uh, this allows me to take my time. Yeah. Ah, I think D-Dog is the preferred stealth play. Quiet is the preferred going in loud play. Oh, yeah, because she backs you up. Yeah, yeah. That Can makes sense. Can take the files? No. Oh, okay. You don't use D-Dog to go for the throat much, right? Mostly just to... I keep, you know, I honestly forget that I can do that. Oh, yeah? But you were doing it for a bit before. Yeah. I don't want to put D-Dog in danger, though. Quiet for loud play. How ironic. Yeah. True. Okay, here we go. I like equipping quiet with the train look, look, sniper. Look. You narrowed it down. Oh, nice. Nice. Okay. I see other prisoners here, but I'm just going to bounce, honestly. Okay. Going for the kneecaps. Hey, you okay? Please fall asleep fast before he alerts everyone else. Uh-oh. Oh, 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 there you go. Woo! Oh, nice. Oh! Well. Get F out of here. Enemy presence detected. So it's a, it's a travel route. So I otherwise I would take my time and save those right. prisoners there, but this time guy's is gonna be the on the move. Yeah. Uh, lucky, yeah. It, it just he just managed to fall asleep right on time. That felt like not a, lucky. That felt like a movie plan. Oh yeah. Okay. Well, I was trying to get him to fall asleep as quick as possible, and I saw he had a helmet, so I didn't want to risk shooting him in the head. Right. It just felt like he was like just about to wake him up, and then oh, these. Guess those those dudes were not A pluses. Not today. All calculated, all skill. That's right. That's right. Those shorts are real tactical. Yeah. I mean. It's hot. Yeah, it's hot. Look at D dog. I know. I love D dog. Looking over at us occasionally too. Yeah. I can't. I'm not. Please. Please. D Dog's loving this. Protect right now. D Dog. I cannot. I will not be able to handle harm coming to D Dog. D Dog, good boy. Good boy, runner. Oh, is that him? Analysis complete. That's a guy. I don't think that's the target. And it just says. I don't think there's anyone near him. Wasn't there? N not oh, near. Oh, no, not near. There. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Analysis complete. Why are you standing by yourself, huh? <laughs> why are you calling him out like that? That's right. Cookies protecting G Dog takes priority. Try tackling a goat, Bryce Law says. Okay, maybe we'll try that next goat. Oh, oh. Nice. I want a dog I can sprint for long distances with. I had a tiny little lap dog for a while, and she could barely keep up with me. Aww. Were we able to figure out D Dog's uh, species? Or is D Dog more like D Wolf? Troublemaker harassment. Great. Wait, what? Oh, that was the. the that was trait? a skill, dude. What if uh -oh. that was your skill? Nice. Husky or Border Collie, uh, Rafa recommends for a sprinting. Sprinting. Uh, Pupper. Hey Ash, I think G Dog is a wolf dog. Okay, so like a a mix. Okay. That's a quick way out of here. A degree in harassment. Yeah. Do I want to do helicopter. Some uh, some uh, come loud. <laughs> I hope I said that correctly. Highest honors. 
You have to Google that one. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I'm pretty sure we got the checkpoint, but we just got another checkpoint. Boom. Okay. No, 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 no. This is a. This Wait is a main up. We got to leave. the hot box. Hot zone. Hot zone. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Sorry, the hot zone. How do you know what that is? <laughs> Oh my god. The hot zone. That was actually an innocent mistake. I'm sorry. <laughs> I said that. I'm sorry. Who taught you that? <laughs> the, the zone is somewhat. <laughs> it's not exactly square. Right? So, see? That's why I was like. I, did I say it? Yeah, okay. She did. I got it. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Thank you. <laughs> oh. We did it. Straightforward mission. I'm sure there's more to it, though. Um, yeah, funny to be decked out with gas masks but wearing shorts. It's hot. Priorities. All right. Mission complete, boss. Maybe you'll actually break a sweat next time, huh? Hey. Nice. Okay, let's see. Our was very see? We what go. if we just killed him? Or they might have said like, oh, oh, oh yeah. Says he got a good look at that factory and Zoya Madiabulu when he dropped off some fresh guinea pigs for them. Along with our man without a face. His instincts told him to run like the rat he is. Said it wasn't worth the money. Oh. Figured he could be next. Mm. That's when he went to the NGO for help. He thought that in exchange for his buyer's list, they could set him up with a new identity someplace far away. Okay. He had an idea who he was up against, and he didn't want to take any chances. A true rat. Yeah, this guy just wants like to live. Like his dogs, he knew when he smelled trouble. And something else. He said the specimens come from deep in the forest. We don't know what he meant by specimens just Whatever yet. this parasite is, probably, right? Those guinea pig symptoms match what we've seen on oh. the in Mother Base. Deep in the forest. Maybe there's the clue we need to beat this. Oh, so it is story gated. Boss, the truth. Sounds like it. Be right around the corner. Dang. So the sooner we get there, the sooner we can figure out how to Legendary heal soldier. this thing. Midnight, Midnight Dingo. Dingo. Doom Centipede. Cool name. Wearing a gas mask in Africa it doesn't seem comfortable. Kikongo. I saw Kikongo. Oh. Get out of here. Get him. <clears throat> Smoking goat. Was that one of them? Maybe. <laughs> Are we gonna check for Kikongo and quarantine? Oh. No. I hope no. the next thing is go deep in the forest. <laughs> yeah, probably. Yeah, so we gotta prioritize that. Just so we can get rid of this. I feel like when you've um Maybe not extracted a target. Maybe they still give you the information like, oh, mm -hmm. we heard or from someone else. Yeah. That, uh, yeah. It turns out it looks, sounds like this. That's true. Yeah. You know. So even if otherwise, you like how? Because that would seem yeah. important, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I think. Oh. I think. No how many times we talk to him, he just Who? won't listen. Eli? Eli. He sees everything in terms of victory or defeat and still won't accept that you beat him. We're going to have to put him in his place again. If you don't mind, come back to Mother Base. Oh, wait. You went, you went around with them? We finally heard from one of oh, when we. Oh, you mean hours. that cutscene? He says he has a solid lead on oh, oh, you mean when we caught him? Wait, is this what you were talking about? Look at the mission details I think this is what you're talking about. If we didn't extract that guy, we would have had this. Mm. A lead regarding the uh, epidemic. Oh, okay. Okay, cool. Well, it sounds like we need to do that anyway. Yeah. Mm. But let's go back to the base first. But actually, let's check the soldiers first. Um, yeah. Doom, Doom Centipede, now that's a name. Midnight Dingo ate your baby. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this Extracted Soldiers always have cool nicknames. Y'all should make some up, too. Okay. There's got to be a name generator. Yeah, like, uh, um, like Infinite uh, Penguin. I'm, I'm going to do this for a minute, just to make sure. Um. These ones are already in quarantine, but. Because I had some dudes in the brig. If they've left the brig, then I can now move them to the quarantine. Existential parrot. Uh, punished chick, dude. That's the ultimate one. Punished chick is really good. Yeah, I'm happy we have that as our 
our base. Uh. Sunrise. Right here. See, Kikongo. Yeah, these dudes were previously. See, this guy's in the brig. I can't move him until he's out. Sunrise dragonfly. Sunrise dragonfly. Usually an adjective in an animal, right? I think so. But some of the adjectives or creature, are. Yeah, some kind of. Yeah, so, some of the adjectives are not. Look at this one, vengeful moose. Are you reading any of these? Uh, I've been looking back and forth. Yeah, when we caught him, Labamba. That's right. I remember now. Time to beat up my son again. We have we haven't Ocelot. gotten the oh. the DNA results yet, but uh, I mean. But we did. He want uh, Ocelot said he wanted to do it, right? Yeah, or we got we got the test done, but we haven't confirmed the results yet. Oh, he did the test. Oh, oh, so it is confirmed. So no, he he did the test, but we don't have the results. Oh, I we didn't don't know have he the did the test. Right. I yeah, thought yeah. he said we got to do it. Okay, okay. Stealth squirrel, fast hedgehog, vampire good. hog. I like the these. Specified. Did you figure out what's causing the infection? Yeah, what's the most epic adjective for the first one? And what's the silliest animal for the second one? You know? Most epic. Like, what's the... Punished chick, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Punished chick is pretty It's really good. good. Oh, we just got this guy. But chick, chick is cute. What is, like, what is this? Like a silly. I'm trying to think of what could be silly. Dingo. Dingoes aren't silly. But the name sounds silly to me. Yeah, dingo as a name is silly. Select unit. Punishing is up there. Sweet snake. Sweet I like snake. sweet. Metal cat. Metal cat sounds pretty cool, actually. Doom rabbit is cute. Oh, you know what? We have a, a yellow mission in the side ops now. It's probably go back and fight Eli. Yeah, Eli's challenge. Oh. We're doing it. Let's do it. Please select you think it's going to play Snake Eater? Heading to Mother Base. No, it's got to be a song from Metal Gear Solid 1 to kind of like give us more teases. Oh, okay. Was there like a vocal song from there? There was. The, what was it called? Is it The Best Is Yet To Come? Or is that? No, that's two. No, that's two. What is it? What is it called? The song. And then in MGS4 when we got to um, Shadow Moses, they played the song I again. I remember. I only rem You mean on the roof when they did the fight? Oh, yeah, through the... No, right when we showed up at oh. at Shadow Moses. Oh, best of the to come is Metal Gear Solid One. Uh, Can't say goodbye to yesterday's too. That's okay. what it is. How, how does that go? So best, best is yet to come is the credits theme from MGS One, right? But when you get to Shadow Moses in Chapter Four of MGS Four, you approach the base. Uh -huh. You know the the outside entrance where the Hind D helicopter oh, that's pad is. Right. It started playing the song oh, there. Oh, I loved that. That was awesome. Wait, how does that song go? Best is yet to come. Someone sing it. Chat, sing it. Well, I was to remind you Audrey. Were sing it, I Solid remember Chocobo is good. Solid <laughs> Chocobo. <laughs> what about Runny? Runny? Yeah. Oh, oh, Runny? Yeah. Like a runny nose? Yeah, if it's Runny Chocobo, that'd be good because you can interpret it either way, right? Yeah, like it, ru it likes to run. Like it likes to run or it just has diarrhea. Yeah. Boy's acting up again, Fry Sauce. We're, we're going to see our boy. Malice with the. <laughs> with there, the you get it out. Malice, thank you. I think it's a Japanese. It's a language I don't recognize. Oh. The best is yet to come. <laughs> I can only think of. I uh, can't say goodbye. I'm going to look it up. But that's in just too, yeah. It's yes. not in English, though. Right? It is yet to come. We're here. Wait. What is the song? It's doing something. Good job. <gasps> oh, you're in it. Good job. Oh, whoa, so rude. Who gave him that? Oh, this. Oh, this song. Okay. I haven't hit listened to this one that much, but it's really nice. We drop his knife? Yeah. Or sword. Thank you, Dan. Best is yet to gum is one. Can't say goodbye to yesterday is two. Thank you, Eater 3. 
Old snake. Dude. Four. He hit D Dog? Yeah, he threw something and it hit D Dog, I think. What do we do? Just like. I feel like Eli is actually. Ow, dude. Oh, no. This guy is more of a threat than quiet. Oh! Okay. So I'm just spamming, but I think I. How is this kid getting. <laughs> like. Hey, quit kidding uh, around. Like firearms and Snake. stuff. This is just like when we first fought him. I like. I need to approach him and then I need to counter him instead. Because it gives me the visual prompt. But instead, I'm just spamming the attack button. Oh, it plays at the beginning of one as well. Or one. Metal Gear Solid 1, 2, when Snake is swimming up. To through the water, gotcha, La Bamba. Man, I couldn't, I couldn't remember the song until I heard it just now. Yeah, he had DD. What have broke his le arms and legs. I don't, that's what I'm saying. DD, go for the throat. Go for the throat. Dislocate his arm again. Oh yeah, I forgot we uh, we did that. Ah, uh, I listened to Best Is Yet to Come. After every workout during my cooldown, perfect vibe song. That is a really good vibe song. And then is your is your actual workout song the the battle music, or when you when you get caught music? We were able to put him to sleep that one time, right? Yeah, that and then you had to carry him all the way to the the copter. Code name April thirtieth, Rose. I don't think it works. Oh no, we got him. That's right. We need D-Horse to drop a little, a couple poops on him. Okay. He's humbled. I kind of want that shirt though. The absolute contempt on his face. Someone please What's confiscate his weapon. Key item, conch shell. Oh, because he had that on his belt. That's right. But we don't know what it signifies. There's all this stuff. Is it in here? What is the, what is the book with the conch famously... Kids on an island. Conch represents like the leader. I don't know. We gotta hydrate though. Thank um, you. Oh my god. What is that? Look at this. Mm. Plus children. I feel like we can upgrade Plus Fulton's Plus children? Now. I think we can. Uh, yeah, Lord of the Flies, chat says. They, uh, thank you. Thank yeah, you, Lord thank of the you. Flies. Thank you. I wonder if that's supposed to be like a, a reference. I suspect it's the Fulton, guys. But I don't know. Please Ooh. We might also not have enough. Um, alert music and... Right there. Plus children. Oh, nice. Oh, there you go. Alert music and yell dead cell song from Metal Gear Solid 2, the boss fight music. Yeah, for the treadmill. Gotcha. gotcha. <laughs> I should try that. Yeah, now kick him while he's down. And yeah, Redstone, thank you for the hydrate again. Appreciate it. More Just locate his leg and tell here. him to walk it off. Yeah, he's kind of a punk. He's kind a punk. Of a punk. Confirmed. Petrol bomb. Oh, yeah. Molotov oh, yeah. cocktail. Redstone, I just hydrate. Thank you again. Thank you again. Okay, we did it. Oh, did you get the hydrate, um, Anthony? I did. Oh, we got the hydrate, Redstone. We got the hydrate. We got gotcha. you. We got gotcha. you. I did it. And then I you just noticed. did it. Sorry, I got a little delayed. I was a little delayed. Eli even had a severed pig's head on the ship where he found him. Another Lord of the Flies reference. Oh, dude, yeah, there's a, I didn't notice it. There's a pig on, his, um, on the back of his shirt. Yeah, yeah, but a severed pig's head is um, specifically. I definitely don't remember Lord of the Flies that well. I just remember the conch. Intense. Yeah, so it seems to be a direct reference. Were there nano machines in Lord of the Flies? Nothing. Uh, 
Um, oh, the pig on the pig on the back of Eli's jacket also has an eye patch. Pig boss. <gasps> <gasps> pig boss. That's so good. His never be game over shirt. That's right. I. <laughs> it's kind of cool. Never right. be game over. We're just going on the next mission then. Oops. You guys were too good. You stuck up on him before the introductory cutscene could play for Eli? Yeah, after I failed once, yes. Oh, really? There's an introductory cutscene? Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I guess we missed out. I don't know. The conch could be SpongeBob, too? A SpongeBob oh, reference? Yeah, well, there was that, that conch SpongeBob episode. Um. I vaguely no, remember. you can like whisper, like Patrick and SpongeBob were like whispering into it, and then giving it to each other like secret messages. Oh, right? is that what that was? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna believe it's now. He was like, "Hi, oh, SpongeBob." <laughs> Hi, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen behind the scenes for SpongeBob and the voice actor Tom Kenny. He does. He like just shakes his neck. Yeah. <laughs> Eli is just a, a really big SpongeBob fan. There may have been a Metal Gear in Lord of the Flies. See, that's what. Maybe, I was, yeah. Yeah. What? what I'm that? ready to deal with this freaking epidemic. Only English mandatory book I enjoyed, next oh. to War of the Worlds. War of the Worlds. Yeah, I definitely read Lord of the Flies from school. I, I did remember too. reading. War of the World. I don't think I read War of the World either. Either. War of the Worlds has a cool history. The um, it was originally a radio program, oh. but when they broadcast it, at the time, it was like um, it was presented as if it was like a real news broadcast of like the world being invaded by aliens. Oh. But at the time when they were like broadcasting it, people who tuned in oh, in the no. middle of it were like, "What is happening? Really? To this world? Oh, Are wow. we under attack? Isn't that the case?" Does really? Know? Please correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's like the history of War That's the interesting. Oh, isn't that what Paramedic talked about? Paramedic talked about exactly that. Oh, wow. Nice. Yeah, yeah a whole town freaked out. Yeah, pretty cool. <laughs> All right, let's just go with these main ops. You ready? Root cause. I like that. I'm freaked out. Dude, what the heck? The intel team's hard at work investigating the cause of that illness spreading through Mother Base. Problem is, a bunch of our agents in the field are still MIA. Progress has been slow until now. We just got a distress call from one of them. Yeah, I think you're right. He said he's got intel on the origin of the disease. But the PF in the area got to him before we did. There's been no further contact from him but we know he's being held at the guard post on the western end of the mine. There's still a good chance he's alive. We can't afford to let him die. Right now, he's the only link we have to the root cause of the epidemic. Get our man back, boss. Sounds good. Yeah, let's do it. Mission accepted. <laughs> I didn't like any of them. Who reads anyway? Honestly, I was not, I really disliked. Me too. Mandatory reading. I like. I remember uh, dreading having to read. Same. And I think, I think, like growing up, because of that, I, I'm now. I still have like an aversion to like. Uh, not an aversion, but I just don't. I just don't like to sit down and read. I love reading like graphic novels and things. Sure. But I don't know if that counts as. Or it's not. It's not the same. But I'll allow it. You'll allow it. Okay. But yeah, I I, I can rarely. I also find, I like, when I read, I just, like, get to, like, I just, yeah. my mind just, like, goes to another place. Yeah, three pages later, you're like, wait, did I absorb any of that? Yeah, even when it's something I'm, like, trying to, like, focus on. Oh, God. oh no, credits, no, credits, oh. credits. Malice never reads. <laughs> I, I, I read uh, the subtitles in uh, this game. The fact that it was mandatory made me just, like, greatly merc. I'm with you, I'm with you. I liked Lord of the Flies Good. Thanks, and Obama. of Mice and Men. Mm. Yeah, I do not. I don't remember if I read of Mice and Men. Of Mice and Men. I have not read that. Got a fantasy and sci-fi library. Yeah, maybe if I gave that more of a chance. I mean, I've tried. Sure, yeah. Um, maybe I just haven't found the right book. Yet. I I did make an effort to like read when I got um like a tablet. 
I got some ebooks and things, but still, I just get distracted. And then I, I just also don't have the time these days. I don't know. And then I just want to read my manga when I have time. <laughs> Uh, the thing I hated most was that we had to go around the class, each reading a section out loud. Usually, I was pages ahead. Ah, I remember Dude. those. Yeah. Popcorn reading. You finish your paragraph, and then you pick another student, right? Yeah. You guys remember doing that? Yeah. Popcorn and, reading. You know, I, oh my god, I just remembered, like, a core memory. Analysis. Like, Complete. I remember we were doing that, and I was reading, and I put, I, I put, like, a little bit of drama in what I read. <laughs> you performed it. Well, in the, in, for this one time, and then the class laughed, and I was like, okay. At I you? No, I mean, I think. Or with you? I did, no, I think I wasn't m intending to make it so dramatic. Oh. But I don't know. It just happened to come out that way, and then the, ca the class laughed, and I was like, oh. Uh -huh. Wait, good O or, <laughs> or embarrassed know. O? I don't know. Well, when I think about it, I don't think of it as a bad memory. I just re remember it. Like, I mean, making the class laugh is like. The best feeling in the world, but I think yeah. at, the, at the time I wasn't. It wasn't intentional, so I was like, "Oh, kind of thing." I remember having to do a book report over the summer before my senior year. Okay. I read the entire book the day before the first day of school and finished the report Love as that. I walked into class. Fry sauce. Yeah. Just barely getting by. Yeah, I, I think I'm the type to try to get it done. Oh, no, that's not true. I'm a procrastinator. Dudes. I'm a huge person. But in my mind, I would like to be someone who gets it done. If you guys are into metal, Of Mice and Men is a band, too. Okay. We'll check it out. I feel like I would like to listen to more metal. When, every time I, I hear so like metal bands and music, I'm like, this is like hype. And it's interesting and it's exciting, you know, kind of thing. So definitely check it out. D Dog has not spotted the prisoner yet. Oh. Any yeah, uh, but yeah, I didn't oh, like there, reading there. either, but I did enjoy reading comics. Yeah, Dan, I'm with you. I'm with you. I say I never read, but some of my favorite games are Nier and Xenogears. Okay. Is there a lot of reading involved in the Nier games? Anthony, do you remember? There is. F. I guess it's like reading, but it's paired with like a uh, more active it's kind of multimedia. visual medium. So yeah, yeah. It's all... Yeah, I mean, I'm into that. I think I would be into that kind of reading as well. Oh, Devil says, I also loved Macbeth, but only because my teacher didn't make us read the original text. Instead, gave us a modern translation. Okay. Yeah, I... Oh, man. Imagine... Oh, man. Imagine being forced to read the original text. Those games straight up have walls of text and I enjoyed all of it. You know, yeah. when we were reading Final Fantasy Tactics, all the things you gotta read in that game, I, I enjoyed that. That was for me. Yeah, there was, there was a little bit of that too. Uh, I can post a link of one of their better songs in the Discord. Which section should I list it under? I think we have a music uh, text yeah, channel. Yeah, that, that'll work. That would be the best one. I, I don't remember exactly. Uh, music, yeah, just music in the other category. Uh, drop it there. Um, Drop it there and I'll give it a listen. Thanks, Dan. I read anime subtitles when I come with you too. That counts. Yeah, count it. Count it. Reading is reading. Hey. Okay. <laughs> I found the first couple of volumes of the Full Metal Alchemist manga in my school library. I haven't read an actual book since. Ash, <laughs> yes. That's good reading. I'll allow it. Oh, he left. F. Okay. Okay. Got to run. There's no other vehicles here that okay. I saw. Okay. Okay. Or is there? Materials. I sometimes. How forget. did I dodge all these landmines? Oh shoot. I sometimes forget subtitles aren't a thing outside of the Netherlands. Subtitles are a thing. 
Yeah. I I feel like definitely. Um, at least for what is this? Me and Anthony, um, everything we watch, we put on subtitles. Oh! What? What is that? Huh? Going down. That's the. Those are the noise I heard. No, dude. This feels uh scripted. Oh, absolutely. But I wonder if I could have gotten there faster. Uh oh. Uh oh. Okay. Okay. Uh oh. Can't send him up. You gotta get him out of here. Okay. Nice. Why that way? Dude. Send the chopper somewhere else. Ah, Gustavo says, as a non-native English speaker, I'm from Brazil. One of the few big books written in English I bought is Herman Melville's Moby Dick. It's not an easy read, nice. but it's full of nautical technical terms. The Phantom Pain has some references for this famous book. Yeah, in the book. beginning. Have you guys noticed any? I would not have noticed, but others have mentioned. Um, uh, Ahab. Ahab and Ishmael are characters from Moby Dick. So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I have The reference was before. Before we knew that this was a Metal Gear game when they announced it, what well, there was a fake developer name called like Moby oh, Dick Pablo Studios Dick? or something. Ah, okay. So I don't know. Have we were we able to like figure out the significance of the reference yet? Maybe it's no, because not there might be more. I don't know. Sure, sure. Don't tell us. Maybe I don't know the story of Moby Dick. The sign well of the enemy. Enough. We're getting attacked right now. Other side, Are you on dude. the wrong side? Get I guess Mo with Moby Dick, is it kind of like there's like this, um, I don't know, like um, it's about obsession. obsession, right? Would you guys, uh, if you guys summarize it, it's about obsession, right? Uh, yeah, I was gonna say it's like a legendary figure, like a like. Elusive kind of Extraction whale, right? Yeah. So maybe I don't know. But maybe. the guy is obsessed. I feel obsessed. like I've read it, but it's been a very long okay. time. Okay. I could Ooh, definitely see right. all those themes already. I mean, we certainly got an obsess obsessed uh, Miller. We oh, that could be it. Is our Moby Dick? What is our Moby Dick though? The Metal Cypher. Gear? Cipher. Oh, there's so many. There's so many things. I think. Yeah gotta go fast kessler how you doing kessler thanks for Yo, being here kessler. thanks for helping helping us out our lovely mod pequod is the name of ahab's ship yeah, so there's a ton there's another i didn't know that wow dead on arrival <gasps> what happened <gasps> old man code talker even told us where he is. I'm gonna write that down. Dang. Boss, let's make sure his death was the last. I love this, dude. It's high time we met this code talker. Dude, this prisoner. This guy, MVP. He got away. What if we're, we would he not risked have his life. been able to crack this case without this guy? And he doesn't even get a name. Stone Worm. Stone Worm feels like uh, innuendo. Like we're about to get banned. Yeah. Because of Stone Worm. <laughs> okay. Okay, let's move on. Um, did Moby Dick have nano machines? Moby Maybe. Dick. Uh, we gotta reread Moby Dick. We gotta reread Lord of the Flies. Where are the nano machines in those games oh, or in those yeah. books? Uh, you can actually switch on the sides on the helicopter if you move before pulling the minigun out. Yeah, I've done that. Okay, okay. I've done that. That's right then. But um, it was yeah. like, it was, I was like, it's too slow. I was mm. like, Pequod, just rotate a little. Mm. Yeah, it is obsession, Kessler. Obsession with revenge against a specific whale, Mark. So, defi definitely Miller mm -hmm. vibes. Maybe. A lot of Kikongo. We gotta keep moving people. Damn, they're talking about me. I'm the old man Kessler. Kessler is the uh, co-talker. Kessler. So you know what's going out. on with this uh, pathogen? I think we're good after this group right here. Yeah. Stone Worm definitely sounds like an actual Metal Gear Solid boss. It does. Has been quarantined. He's like. Right. <laughs> we'll quarantine the staff you specified. Uh, Did you figure out what's causing the infection? What am I doing? I lost track of what I was doing ah, mentally. Uh, also, Moby Dick's first sentence is, call me Ishmael. Ooh. Um, Gustavo, did you read that book before jumping into this game? 
Or did you read that book because of this game? I'm curious because if you read the book before this game and you saw that, you're like, oh, I know what that is. I, I feel like that kind of feeling would be cool. But also, if, if this book inspired you to read it, that's also cool. Select unit. Staff has been quarantined. Oh, that's right. Wait, wait, wait. wait, wait. All right. We'll quarantine the staff you specified. Did you figure out what's causing the infection? There, troublemakers. We got a bunch. Oh, we do. He's in the quarantine. Wait, did you sort by recent? Oh, we can't dismiss though at all. Select unit. Or can we? What? Only reason I know Whatever, anything we'll about Moby Dick is because I was watching a video game, a video about this game. Oh, okay. Oh, and so did they kind of maybe did they touch on like cite literature? The, yeah. That was re that's referenced. Yeah. Could be cool. I feel like. Maybe this is superficial, but I feel like because there are those kinds of references in this game, like, oh, this game is like pretty culture. <laughs> you yeah. know what I'm saying? Automatically, yeah. <laughs> You're like, oh, we're yeah. talking uh, Moby Dick, we're talking Lord of the Flies here. Ready? All right. And then we see Quiet's outfit, and then, uh, oh. <laughs> you need to make contact with the code talker, the old man who's supposed to know what's behind this infection. The intel team member you extracted was able to pinpoint his location. A forest that stretches across the Angola Zaire border. The locals call it Lufwa Valley, the Valley of the Lost. The target's in a mansion deep in this valley. Whoa. A PF is deployed there, but we've also spotted an unidentified group operating in the area. If Cypher developed this pathogen, there's a good chance our target played a central role in that process. But is this their weapon to surpass Metal Gear? Will the pathogen or its cure lead to Cypher? This guy is the key to everything. Boss, make contact with Code Talker and extract him if you see fit. We can't afford to lose any more men. We have to stop this thing. I'm nervous. We're going to have to fight some... Um, what were they called? Walkers? Skull unit. Oh, skull? Oh, parasite? Skull, parasite, yeah. Mm. Mission accepted. Here we go. Yes, I read the book in school. Nice. Yeah, I can't let that infection out in the world. We're containing it. Cultured Kojumbo. Next, we need Lord of the Rings. Yeah, there's going to be a... That'd be cool. Toss me. Triple <laughs> 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 Hydrate, Kessler. Okay. Thank we you won't so look. much. We won't look. Thank oh, you. Oh, no. We're not looking. Not looking. Don't look at the, the credits. Thank you for the warning, Gustavo. Not looking. Metal Gear Solid 1 introduced me to dominant and recessive genes in regards to DNA. Nice. <laughs> Malice is doing these like Punnett squares. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right, which one? Which what are the, what are the dominant genes here? There's there is a lot of talk about genetic engineering in this. Okay, yes or no? The credits spoil something. Uh, yeah, of course they read spoil it. I mean, if Gustavo so pre-warned us specifically for this one. Okay. Yeah. Let's just. Yes. Yes. Straight up a yes. Spoils, a whole yeah. thing. You guys are the best. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. This is awesome. Spoiler credits have passed. Okay. Don't tell me Kojima made this made this game again. Literally and as you said it. <laughs> La Bamba said it last time too. Pretty much going forward, don't look at the credits. Yeah. Yeah. Metal Gear Solid taught me about the Cold War. Yeah. Basically, school. It's pretty cool when that happens. But then you like go back to school. And you're in history class, and you're like, oh, what about Operation Snake Eater? Yeah. Wait, what? Uh, when did the GW system? Yeah, what about Virtuous Mission? Have you guys heard of The Boss? See, this is why. The legendary when, soldier. When does the Kojima history start and stop? You because just mix it all together. Yeah. What do the books tell us about the cipher agent Pacifica Ocean? <laughs> and what she did at uh, Mother Base and <laughs> Metal Gear Zeke? Mm hmm. There might be a couple where it's fine to look, but then it just spoils that there isn't some surprise guess. That's true, La Bamba. Yeah, so let's just make it a point to not look. Um, so, Sierra, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Thanks for being here. How you doing? So, Ocelot's saying he sh he would have expected us to see security or patrols by now. Oh, yeah. So, fishy? Suspicious? Yeah. What is that? Oh, dude, missed. Oh, here we go. I have a bad feeling about this. No kidding. 
I bought the book for two reasons, the Phantom Pain, so yeah, after playing the game, and because of the flashy, beautiful cover, it's a special edition by Barnes & Noble. Nice, Gustavo! Oh, nice. That's super awesome. That is really, really awesome. Uh-oh. Here we go. Gee. I'm guessing this is what popped up in the credits. Oh! Are they oh! Dude, stealth. Oh, Beauty and the Beast? Oh, they're like quiet, they're like quiet. The way, the way the flesh comes in? Yeah, yeah. But they're not like quiet because they're fully clothed, but also... Oh no! They're like quiet. Oh, they're just gray. Okay, they breathe through the skin. Oh my god, that introductory shot. Oh! Oh, dude! Dude! Okay, we're getting different versions of the skulls. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Damn it. I wonder what would have happened if we brought on. Quiet on this mission. Good question. Uh, Kessler, I need to play Metal Gear Solid one day. Kessler, go for it. You'd like it, Kessler, for sure. Yeah, what about Russia's retaliation when the Davy Crockett was launched deep into Russian territory, territory, teacher? <laughs> Missed poggers. It's happening. Where was that? I just need to be faster. I need them to spot me so it reveals their location like that, and then I need to be faster. Oh my god, dude. They look like cyborgs. Hot bikini cyborgs. Got one? So they've, hmm. Yeah, it is like quiet. Th this is the first time we've seen the parasite unit have that kind of, um, that manner about them where they have the, like the phasing in of things. But Did they, I hit it? Did I hit it? Just spot me. Did Quiet phase in her sniper rifle too? She must have, right? Yeah, on the I don't know. On the helicopter when she phased in that one time? Oh, maybe, yeah. Maybe we just forgot. Oh, yeah. But they really emphasized it here, and that was really sweet. They did. That was really cool. Mm. There's two on me. So, I guess what's the difference between Quiet and these parasite units? Good question. She escaped or something. Yeah, but because if if they are these are all really okay, so if the kids and all those people, the infections mm -hmm. are maybe the failed ones, and these are the ones that they successfully converted, mm -hmm. then maybe Quiet's one who successfully took on whatever powers, but retained who she was. Yeah, so she but maybe lost her voice as a result. That's just my guess. So well, these haven't spoken either. So I don't know. I'm just theorizing. But I guess. Oh, yeah. What are these V's on the map? Oh, Skull Soldier. What? Oh, okay. Yep, the boobs and the butt shot fry sauce. We know what they're doing. We know what they're doing. They know what they're as, doing. as long as they don't shoot the dog, we're cool, Kessler. As long as they don't shoot the dog, we're cool. I, I, I'm it was with faster you. Faster than I thought. Those bikinis are too large for Brazilian standards, Gustavo. Thank you. Uh, thank you for thank you for giving us that perspective. We'll uh, we'll do some independent research about that. Oh! Oh, on the helicopter, Snake gave Quiet his sniper rifle. Ah, okay. So, oh, yeah, I didn't remember that. Um, so yeah, I guess maybe these are the more advanced. Mm, version of what they were trying to make Quiet to be, or Quiet got out before she made fully they, converted. Yeah, they got to this level. I mean, I guess that would make sense too, because if I mean these these seem slightly more clothed, so oh maybe they not can a, uh, breathe through their skin a little. Got him. 
Oh, okay. So what are oh, those? Oh, the first skulls you see after saving Miller also phase in weapons. Okay, I forgot about that. Thank yeah, you for the sure. reminder. Yeah. Okay, so what is it? Just these sniper ones. Yeah, the ones. What are these? From though? Miller rescue mission materializer guns do cool. Thank you. Zero percent. What what's going on here? I think. Uh, Is this just some glitch? Are these ones that I shot earlier? Plant weird. Huh, weird. Yeah. First try. I thought we could extract them. Kessler doesn't look like it. You're pretty good, Anthony. Nice. Thank you. Yeah, that's one of the one. Okay, so one these the ones, ones are maybe just like a little glitched out. Yeah, it could be under a tree or something. Yeah. Because there's, it seems like normally if we approach, they are supposed to like jump away. Jump away. Yeah. Um. I don't want to be weird about it, but can we like see what they look like? You want to look? Yeah. This one is a little more. Oh! 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 Well, so much for that. As soon as oh. I mention that, of course, then oh. they're like, "No, no, no!" Good. All right, Good that's job. fine. That's fair. That was pretty cool, though. All right. <laughs> there you go. They're listening. Yeah. I guess so. Cipher's listening, dude. Dude, lale lule lo. <laughs> Lu dude, look that up. Is that in Moby Dick? If you take the first letter of the second sentence in every chapter, does it spell lale lule? <laughs> What if it actually did and you called oh, it? Oh, the first uh, two, yeah. <laughs> no peeping. <laughs> I heard Audrey. Yeah, that's what, that's what I'm thinking. I just wanted to see because it, it looked like they had more things going on, at least like attachments and things. So. I wonder if we, if we could see their throat, if we could see like a scar from oh, where they like... Oh, damn it. You're right. I, I should have... Put the thing. My bad. I feel like we would have noticed that on Quiet, maybe. So... Maybe Quiet didn't get the that earphone business. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, there's definitely something different about her. So do you even know the Audrey's of the world wanted a closer look? I was like, I just want to see. I just want to see so we can have some more information to make more informed guesses, okay? For sure. I don't want to be weird about it, but uh, I didn't want a closer look. Uh, I mean, they had no hair and some kind of monocular goggle yeah like they were wearing it on their eyes I, I can't even remember yeah they were on okay. one eye they had something on their back too like a pack i don't Look know at this place oh oh this is a nice looking uh i don't know layer Sounds good. It would be cool if we could recruit them. It would be cool. Okay, I'm just gonna oh, people are excited for this mission. They said they liked it. Okay. No spoilers. No but spoilers, but appreciate y'all's excitement. Yeah, I'm excited I think too. Saying you liked it, it's cool. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Forest team. Activity with forest team. Does that mean they're working with those? Okay. They know. We need that invisible stealth suit the cyborgs had. Yeah, I do. I mean, I did upgrade some um, stealth camo. Yeah, and I don't. But think I haven't. I haven't used it. Yeah, for those uh, soldiers that we fought, I don't think the suit is what makes them. No joke. Stealth. I'm gonna get supplies. I think it's like they were. Oh, look at the guy. Yeah, a yeah, that's the guy. Do we know that guy? He's in a chair. Looks like. If he's. Is he someone from a previous game, maybe? I don't know. Okay, um... I kind of want to... I need more suppressor for my sniper. Requested. Imagine how efficient they would be if they didn't have laser sights on their on the sniper rifle giving away their positions. Yeah. yeah. But then... That's just for us. That's for us. Yeah. yeah. Then it would be way too hard. Supply drop. Maybe they have light refracting clothing or bikinis. Not a lot of surface area. Yeah, I was gonna say then <laughs> only only that area would yeah. uh, be stealth. <laughs> hey, 
<laughs> he kicked my dog. Thanks for being here. I was organizing my DVDs earlier tonight, but I seem to have misplaced my God in 60 Seconds DVD. I don't know what happened. It was here a <laughs> minute ago. Uh, you know what? I after, actually haven't seen that whole movie. Is it good? Is it? Is it? Uh, was it a critical success? Was it yeah. good? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He he kicked. My dog, have you actually seen it, or were you just saying that for the? But I appreciate for the, the joke. good, uh, for, for the good in. joke. Yeah. Oh. Laser sights are are cool looking though, Merc. I do. I just start killing dudes. You think? They are cool looking. Uh, which movie? Gone in sixty seconds. Yeah. It's With okay. -ish. Cage. <laughs> it was a critical success, but it was okay at best. I mean. I'm down to watch an it's, okay movie. Do you know anything about the movie? Audrey? No, I know nothing. Dude. Who's it, in it? Would you guys describe it as a heist movie? Ooh, it is, I like right? a heist movie. Just that tension of will they pull it off? <laughs> Everyone's just saying fun. it was okay. It was all right. It was okay. 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 I'm down for an okay movie. Yeah. If it's fun. Yeah. I prefer speed. Ah, uh, speed is fun. Speed is fun. We saw that, right? Yeah. Is that is that Keanu Reeves? And, yeah. Um, um, yeah. Um. Oh my gosh, I see her Sandra face. Sandra Bullock. Sandra Bullock. Thank you. Oh, cars galore. Okay. It is extremely okay. Everyone's uh, there seems to be a resounding Dang. okay. Oh, Take Nicholas it Cage. The there yeah, and there's absolutely an absolutely beautiful car in it, though. Okay. So car people would appreciate. Yeah, it seems like it. Mm. I love Keanu and Speed. I get him. All right, they're approaching. Iconic Nicolas Cage movie. They're approaching, but did I, did I hit him with the tranks? Yes, I hit one. I hit both, okay. Nice. They're going to wake each yeah. other up. They may. Need to kill and someone. he kicked my dog with the follow. Thank you so much. Thank you. A little mini dance party for celebration. You like? I haven't seen a lot of Nicolas Cage films. These guys are up there, okay. Didn't mean to do that. Fudge, oh. that's loud? I droid information updated. One entrance. Two shots. It's coming, it's, they're coming, they're coming. Cheer maker idea. Keanu Reeves movies. Matrix, John Wick, Speed, Bill and Ted. That would be... This guy hasn't spotted me, right? No, it doesn't look like it, but he probably saw the guy you just shot. Yeah. Oh, oh everyone I should have taken the shot right there. All right. It's all right. He's going. Oh, man. That would be hard to rank for me. Sorry, I'm missing out on chat. No, that's okay. I'm, I'm, hanging, I'm hanging out. Um, I really like the John Wick movie, so I feel like that's going to be up there. Did that other guy give me info? I don't remember. I interrogated. He said the one guy. He said the entrance is here, so they updated the iDroid with the map info. I don't know how helpful that was, though. Entrance right there in the, in the rear. That's what you wanted? Yeah. Okay. National Treasure. I never watched those. I, wa I feel like that's the only film I've seen. Or not the only film, the, the few, one of the ones that I remember that has Nicolas Cage in it. Oh, what's the one with, where he's like a con man? A what? A con man? Uh, Matchstick Man. Matchstick Man. I've we seen really Matchstick like Man. We really like that movie. Have you guys seen Matchstick Man? Bill Dude, and Ted Sam Rockwell. There. Incredible actor. I've only seen the first Bill and Ted, I think. But that was a fun time. That was a fun time. No. Tai Chi Warrior is the best Keanu Reeves movie. He has two lines in it. I'd never heard of that. Are you memeing? Rye sauce? I've never heard of that. Con Air? Con Air, dude. Wait, have you seen that? Audrey? Wait, that's a real movie? Yeah. Oh, sorry. I thought that was the, I thought that was the, um, the hair dryer oh, brand. Oh, look at this place. <laughs> um... <laughs> no, I haven't seen it. I'll be quick and what? The Rock? The Rock. I've, I've oh only ever seen that once a long time ago. Is this That's straight up good, right? Is that a Michael Bay movie? Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Dude. I don't know. All these. Face Put it on off? the list. Face? 
off. Wait, are you just doing that, or is that a reference? That's my reference. Okay, I don't know. I don't, I don't know all these movies. Dude. Connie Face is off. also a good Nicolas Cage movie? Okay. My cousin memorized every word spoken from every character from Gone in 60 Seconds. Yeah, he's a uh, petrol head. Oh, that's awesome. Okay, yeah, that. So it does sound like it's a a car person's Definitely. kind of movie. That's cool. That's cool. I could appreciate that. Oh, Dan Eddie watched Con Air for the first time like a month ago and absolutely loved it. I'm nice. curious now. I don't know anything about it. This guy's right here. Man of Tai oh, Chi. That movie is great. Okay, two people saying Man of Tai Chi is good. A lot of the orchestral music in Metal Gear Solid 2 is basically a ripoff of the rock soundtrack. Oh, oh nice. another Nick Cage movie. Okay. Don't know it. You need to see it? Okay, okay. I'm yeah, there's some good Nick Cage stuff. Okay, all right. The rock, dude. The ro I, oh. know it's, I know people love it, Yeah. but I I barely remember it. Yeah, Labama said directed by Michael Bay, kind of his crowning achievement. Yeah. Okay. Got Sean Connery? Right. Sean Connery, yeah. The Tai Chi movie is worth No Dwayne Johnson, though. No Dwayne Johnson, though. No. Gotcha. Not, not The Rock. The not rock. that, The Rock. Um, face Off is an experience. Okay. Face Off is so bad, it's good. Kind of okay. like The Room. The Room, I've only seen... Uh, I should have interrogated more clips dudes. Of. This, um... What do you call this, like, this, uh... The site, the space, this mansion, this mansion, mansion right? is so beautiful. It is. It's really nice. Where are we? We're still in Africa. We're still in Africa. Yeah. I feel like. Oh, there we go. Really, Thank really you, nice. Like this is some like I don't know. This doesn't feel like a a private force base. It feels like I don't know something else. Some business transactions would go down here. Or he's just like in hiding here. Travolta and Cage in the height of their popularity in Face Off. I yeah. don't think I know this at all. Do not tell Audrey anything. Okay, don't tell me anything. I'll I'll, I'll watch no it. Eventually. No spoilers. I'm gonna, we're gonna have a Nicolas Cage Dang. day. Sir Nick Sean Cage Connery, Shadow Ninja. Yeah. Sean Straight Connery. up knighted. So. Yeah. I fell downstairs. I'm not sure how downstairs. to explain what Con Air is without spoiling it. Anthony, yeah. how would you describe it? I wouldn't. Oh, you would not? I would just have you watch it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, don't tell anything to Audrey. Y'all. That's fine. But So what's the list now of definitely should really consider watching um, Nick Cage movies? The Rock, uh, Con Air. The Rock and Con Air are for sure. Face Off. Face Off, yeah. We'll just put it out there. And then um, Gone in 60 Seconds, maybe. Yeah. National Treasure, was that yes? That was a yes, but I've, I've seen that one. But you feel you have Wait, are, isn't there more than one? There are, there is. I think I've only seen the first one. Yeah, we're here. Code Talker's here. Oh, no, the, Dwayne this Johnson wasn't even The Rock by the time The Rock film came out, oh, I yeah. think, uh, La Bamba says. I think his recent movie, Burdened by Immense Talent, is supposed to be a return of Nicolas Cage. I had tickets to go see that in the oh, theater. Oh, nice. But then I got busy and I didn't go uh, see it, but I regret that. I wanted to see it. It's like really highly reviewed, too. Mm. It's so beautiful, except all the bullet holes. You know, it adds a certain uh, uh, a vibe. Good. You ready? The bullet For a hole potential cutscene. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. So let's yeah, pay attention here. I actually don't know. Uh oh. Certainly seems like something. Why did he look back? Okay, so this is. Oh, this is ominous. Co talker. Ooh. Love it. D dog, you stand guard. Yes, good dog. They always do this. Camera away from whatever character. I've been waiting, Tilich. Tilich. Or should I say, Bedrochale? Dude. See, dude. I it's affecting my men. How do we silence or death? What it could be in here. Oh, 
Stay quiet. Your life depends on it. Oh, it gets worse if you talk. Oh, that's why they put the the voice, the speakers in the throat to accelerate the uh the, the parasites. Oh! Those are its lava. Uh-huh. They enter the throat and attach themselves to the vocal cords. Oh. They mimic the host's membranes flawlessly. No one can tell the difference. Quiet! That's why she doesn't speak. So it doesn't spread. They mate. Sustained exposure to a particular sound triggers copulation. The resulting lava. Can you raise the game volume? Yes. On the host lungs. Killing it. Thanks for the feedback, Gustavo. The particular sound. The particular sound. Let me know how that is. Congo. Congo. Words. They attack only those who speak a certain language. Not just one. Oh. I cannot say which language your parasites are. Ah, oh, they're programmed. But silence is the best way to keep them from laying their children. This contains an herb that they dislike. Here we go. Whoa. <laughs> Get out of this hot box now. <laughs> that should deafen them for a while. You have bought yourself some time. Speak. Dude. Is there a cure? Once symptoms manifest, lava have already infested the alveoli. Alveoli. At which point, nothing can be done. Oh, so symptomatic or dead. To halt the onset, which would prevent infection. Stay quiet. Oh, prevent the onset. So preventing infection. What is the I way? Need your help. He stole the ones I sealed away. Forced me to do his terrible work. <sighs> Scarface. Even a country like America sways in his wake. I could not defy him. The fate of Dene lies in his hands. Oh, write that down. Dene. Dene. However, perhaps the Nishia led you here. If my children have upset the Hojou of the world, Falls to me to set it right. Oh, he, oh, he has eyes. Just like quiet. Yeah, my children. He did the eye thing. Okay, what does that mean, though? <clears throat> oh. Posh trick from Dan. Thanks. Dan, thank you. And Cyrus is here. How's it going? What's up, Cyrus? We'll catch up with chat in just a second. Cyrus, you 100% yet? You secured uh -oh. the target, but he's too old to risk a full extraction. Put Code Talker in the chopper and return oh to base. Oh my gosh. You know something's going to happen as soon as you exit this place. They are the dream of every ruler since the dawn of time. Teach them your enemy's words. Then. Yeah. Destroying only those who speak it's his pretty tongue. incredible parasite. Yeah. Ethnic cleanser. Jeez. That's what Skullface is after. Then in Zuya, Badiabulo was boss. He's gonna wipe every language besides English off the face of the earth. Oh my. That, when they had the earbuds in their throat, yeah. it was all these languages they except English. You. Yeah. It is thanks to them that man first learned to speak. But now, the hands of their clock turn back. They've been warped by the hands of man. That's a uh, game audio, by the way. Um, everyone, let us know. If 
it needs to come back down or if it's loud enough. Oh, dude, they're here, huh? Oh, of they're course here. they're here. Uh, Parasite goes om nom nom go on the long shadow. They know you took out the scrolls. Um, Are you kidding me, dude? Oh, oh my god. And, yeah, sorry. Are you kidding me? Oh, this come on. Guy, dude. Thanks for being here, Cyrus. Hope you're having a good work lunch. Oh my god, chaos. You're planning a genocide, Kessler, yeah? Dude! A weapon to surpass Metal Gear! No! Little Face's real name is Adolf! Dude! But why? Volume's good, thank you. Sounds great. Thank, thank you, y'all. You did him, Kessler, sometimes? Enemy helicopter, too? Knocked him out using the old man. You know, he'll be fine. This guy's fine. He eats Dude. Come on, go at him, you know. Okay. Ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, this is rough. We're going to have to do this on a second attempt. I did not know there was <laughs> guys are outside. Okay. Okay, <sighs> this is interesting. Hey, Shadow Ninja. Snake, talk to me. So. Snake! I did not know there were dudes right outside. We knew the method of um, transmission was because was that people were speaking Kikongo, and that was the people who spoke Kikongo ended up being infected. So the parasite um, specifically, or at least the one that infiltrated that us, have, yeah. there are different. The parasite attacks a specific, um, like. I guess vocal cord. It's that vibration. they um, they breathe. They breathe in response to those sounds. In response to those sounds, and they have this parasite programmed for every language except English. Okay. Where can I go? Where can I go? Where can I go? Where can I go? What is it doing? Oh, Victims oh dude! They were implanted without my knowledge, even had I known. There is nothing I could have done. But the MIA Intel team members buried there too. Bastards. Oh no. They gotta pay for this. Can I get past these suits, you think? Um, but these, this parasite it may not necessarily be related to the this parasite soldiers that we've been fighting necessarily, right? Because they're, if they, they have a parasite that, they have a parasite that's focused on killing and, and the, I guess the ethnic cleansing. And then they have this other experiment going on where the, we have these soldiers. Give me I, reflex oh, mode. We don't know exactly if... Maybe they are related or maybe they're two different things. Death? Mm. So my guess... There's a lot of soldiers. There are a lot. <laughs> and they're all in pairs. DD yes. didn't spot him. DD didn't go do a good job. You are fired, DD. It's okay. This On that the first attempt, yeah. This is the first time DD has maybe missed one. It's fine. It's fine. I like want the reflex mode just so I can kill these two real quick without yeah. alerting anyone. Spot me. Nice. Faster, Anthony. Hey, angry biscuit. That aim though. Anthony's always going for that headshot. And if they have a helmet, then we're going for the kneecaps. Nice. Now DD the gets them. As long as you can see their face. Oh, nice. Jeez. The guy looking around like, wait, what? You're not seriously leaving him no, get, don't give me such a hard time, dude. Oh, if you don't take out the skulls, the mission is very different, Shadow Ninja. Oh, Interesting. Curious. Yeah, time for cleanup, Merc. We're cleaning up. Oh. 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 Nice. Gotta watch my silence. <laughs> Everyone has a bathroom, buddy. I mean, this is probably, that's probably for the best in uh, the time of war. Walk 
each other's backs. Dude, there's a lot. Me, I just bum rush them and slap them. You, you do that running punch. Oh my god, Ooh. are you serious? Do you oh. see that? What? Armored vehicle. Oh yeah, I did see the vehicle. Kazuhira Backseater Miller. Oh. Kaz. I'll pick him up in a second. I just gotta take all these threats out. First. I'm not. Yeah, so I, I'm, I'm thinking the parasite that kills and the parasite that we, or the, I don't know, I guess the parasite that is enhancing some of those soldiers are two different. You're, this is you thinking out loud right yeah, now? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm just thinking, I'm just talking. I feel like the failed experiments are the ones that aren't... Oh, well, actually, you're right. No, because there's one that seems deliberately for, like, the ethnic cleanser, they say. Yeah, you're right, you're right. The one... And that, that's the experiments you see. You, you, they cut open the throats. They're, they're you know... Um, oh, so the experiments are the... How do we program these, probably? Parasites to the different languages. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay. The, I thought the, the experiments house. were to create those skull souls. So I think that's another experiment that we haven't... Um, yeah, figured out. So that's quite is that maybe what he referenced right here? My children. I think. Well, I mean, it was like my children. He says that, and then he had the eye thing. My first thought was like he considers those parasites his children, but oh. then maybe the parasite like the actual organism. But maybe, but it could also be those those fighter ones. Right, right. I wonder if it's like. Um, we've only seen that eye thing with Quiet. Um, no, it's so maybe she has a more direct connection with this guy then. Could be, or maybe they all do. Maybe it is like a lineage it. thing. Maybe it's literal children. I don't know. Do you think, D Dog? <sighs> okay, that worked out. I hope I don't want to jinx it. My APC now. APC. Yeah. Armored personnel carrier. Oh right, right, right. <laughs> yeah, right, right, right. Um, geez, Miller, why don't you come out and help? That's probably what Snake is thinking right now each time Cos speaks cookies. This whole game, maybe. This whole game. Um, Vox die? Fox die? Oh, oh, Vox, as in like. Vox? Vocal, yeah. Raptor! Pretty cool, Raptor. That is cool! That is cool. Unless you're spoiling Raptor, then uh, not cool. No, no. <laughs> <laughs> but Vox die is really cool. That is cool. Peak lottery. I probably got to get on that gun. There's another chopper. Uh-oh. Should we really have gotten an old chopper? Yeah, dude. So easy to spot. It's, it's about sending a message. The message is we're right here. The message is we're no, not outside. afraid. I'm afraid. No, no, that, I mean, maybe you're actually afraid, but the message, the message, we're, okay. Enemy presence detected. Map has been updated. Uh, Rathor didn't get further than quiet, so this is okay. not. So okay, Rathor doesn't know. Like, <sighs> you didn't. You hey, did. I get five of the six mission tasks. So you, Rathor didn't get that quiet shower scene. Extraction Give me some echo herbs. Yeah, those herbs. Right. Hopefully, the uh, code talker can tell us how to get more of those herbs. Up. Yeah. Fox, code name Fox. Nice. I took out quiet non lethally using supply drops. Yeah, That's I went awesome. in and did that with um, because there there was some of the additional mission tasks. Oh right. Wait, that was it. Oh, for non lethally. Yeah, also, or like without using equipment. Yeah, like but you did you do that? Yeah, using yeah. supply I did drops that off stream. Yeah, that is so funny. Yeah, because <laughs> I remember when we kept hitting like D horse with the supply drops. Oh, that's <laughs> right. That's funny. Boss, we found the bodies of the two missing Intel team members yeah. in Lufwa Valley. We knew we wouldn't get them back alive, but still, it's a damn shame. Don't let their sacrifice go to waste, boss. Mm. We need to stop the epidemic at Mother Base. That old man, Code Talker, 
He's the only hope we've got. I'm really curious about Quiet and him interacting. Yeah, I wonder if you brought Quiet, what if it would be if there would be a different Yeah, don't tell us. Yeah, don't tell us, don't tell Never us. Don't, chat. Yeah, yeah, Just sorry, allow sorry, us sorry. to speculate. Yeah. Don't Do not confirm or deny. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, have you managed to get a perfect stealth so far? Maybe early on. Maybe some of yeah. the more simple missions. Yeah, but um, we're kind of going in and just uh, trying to go, 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 go. So sometimes that means getting caught, and that's okay. Here we go. Tell me how to fight it. Whoa. I hid the answer in the micro this one carries. It turns the male parasites into females. Preventing reproduction. One parasite infecting another. However, it doesn't affect only the parasite. It alters the host as well. The infection uh. will be contained. But? But you and your men will also be rendered. Oh. That is the price you must pay. To regain your speech. Mm. That freak show back there. They the work of your children too. A different strain from the vocal. Okay. Okay. Parasite. See, this is. You're right. Yeah. What Known I was. Known as the one, the one that covers. covers. The one that covers. You write that down. It's it right. acts it as the host skin. It acts as the host skin. Providing strength. In exchange for nourishment. That's why they can't cover up. But I did not know those men were infected. That's why they're all gray. They were forced to serve him. Then steal my research. Have you seen one of their vehicles? Be yellow cake. Captured a convoy they were escorting. Cargo, some kind of mineral. What became of it? The metallic archaea. Metallic oh. archaea. Clouds ahead. Uh. Sahelanthropus. Oh, here we go. Oh, what? <laughs> oh to my god. To be continued. God. Haven't seen that since Peace, Wal or Peace Walker, right? Yeah. Okay. Well, I would hope. The next story mission is a uh, continuation. Continuation of that. No, that's the end of the game. Metal Gear Solid Six. Oh no. <laughs> um. Yeah. Big Boss Daryl laughs in Les Enfants Terry Project. Yeah. I mean. Okay. Hold on. Yeah. We can't allow him to have such power. Go over the mission details and get going ASAP. Okay. Let me just check uh, the soldiers real quick. Dum, dum, dum. Find out on the next Dragon Ball Z. That's right. Why are we allowing these volunteers, dude? <laughs> Wait, is that battle armor on D-Dog? Why D look like a cyber pup? Pup? It, it is. is. It is upgraded armor, uh, Angry Biscuit. Doesn't he look cool? He's cool. Or doesn't D Dog look D -Dog's cool? A I don't think we confirmed that D Dog is a boy pup. Select unit. Because Staff has been quarantined. Yeah, um, we don't know. We don't know. We don't know. Oh, we got a cassette tape. <laughs> oh, and we got a lie detector question. If you can hand me the lie oh, detector. Oh, sure, sure. Golf asks, "Do you like Kiefer Sutherland's performance?" I like this question. To be continued. Time to invade an FOB. Yeah. You want to take this question? This <laughs> yeah. Will be or do you, you want to take it? No, no, no. Go ahead. You I'll take it. it. This is probably the most keeper I've spoken so far. You yeah. Do it? I'm going to take a quick restroom break while you oh, do that. Okay. Is that okay. Sounds good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Take I a quick will... restroom break and we'll come back to listen to this cassette, this new cassette tape, and do the next main. Up. So Sounds I will be right back. Sounds good. Changing. Yeah. All right. So let's do this lie detector question. And our calibrate. Do you like Kiefer Sutherland's performance? Of course. Um, David Hayter, I'll be honest. I miss him. I miss that that 
snake performance. And I, I've mentioned this before, but this game, the tone feels different. And that being said, I am into Kiefer Sutherland's performance. I like it. I think it suits the tone of the game. It's a different snake, that's for sure. Um, and I'm not, I'm not, I don't want to compare to David Hayter's because that's not the question. It's truth. I'm telling the truth. Didn't shock me. Um, but I, I feel like it suits the vibe that it's going for right now. Um, yeah, I kind of wonder how David Hayter would approach the t like this kind of snake and like the tone that they're going for here. But I like it. I haven't noticed it being out of place or anything like that. I think there was a little bit of an adjustment period, but I got over that in Ground Zeroes, I think. I so, um, yeah, I'm going to say thumbs up. How, how about others? Do, do we all, are we all on the same page about that? What was your answer? I liked it. I like it. And was I it the truth? It. And it was the truth. And it, I did not get shocked. Yeah, I like it too. Um, I don't mind Kiefer has snake. I do miss David Hayter though. I, yeah, I'm yeah. with you, Shadow. I'm with he you. He fits the, um, the vibe of this game, it's a little more serious. Mm. David Hayter's performance as Snake fit the um, the riding the line between serious and ser uh, serious. Mm. A s serious and silly. Yeah. Like campy. Yeah, there is a campiness. Yeah, for, sure, for the performance for sure. and the character, but this is like f almost full serious. Yeah. So I do. That's what fits. Recognize that this game is different. Yeah. And um, while I do miss the. You know, maybe that 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 aspect of Metal Gear Solid, that yeah. campiness. I, I I think I'm in, I'm also into this it's like drama. Anthony going Johnny mode. <laughs> not not in the pants. Not today. Not today. Oh wait, no. Did he ever poop his pants? I forgot. I forgot we had that. No, those are some wet there ones. Is. is he okay? All right. New tape. You down to hear it? Oh, wait, no. Let's do it. Yeah, they oh, did. Oh, never mind. It's just uh, another song we oh, got. Okay. Uh, they didn't just try to make another game like Metal Gear Solid 1 to 4. Definitely, La Bamba. I will withhold my key for thoughts for now. Okay, appreciate that, cool. La Bamba. Appreciate that. Looking forward to the discussion on that. Imagine Metal Gear Solid 1 through 4 using Please the Fox so engine. Much. Whoa, mm. imagine. Yeah. I think the change of voice seems appropriate for the change of tone. Having David Hayter try to play Snake after a nine-year coma might be difficult. Might be, yeah. I mean, I don't doubt he could pull it off, but like just this artistic separation. It just feels like a deliberate, like mm. we're going in another direction, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, I remember hearing David in Bloodstain, Ritual of the Night. Yeah, Wait, he's uh, he's that other character. You knew at the time. Oh, I did. He was the guy with the sword. Oh, um. Zangetsu? Zang Is that his name? Oh, that's David Hayter. Yeah, well, you knew you knew it. It, I was, don't remember. it was like two years ago now, though. Gulf of Mail rocks with Kiefer. Love that. David Hayter is more theatrical. It's the more theatrical aspect of the series, where um, uh, you're right, Anthony. In the, this game is more serious. Yeah, yeah, yeah I yeah, feel yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. How did you record me from my bathroom? <laughs> Shadow, Shadow Ninja. <laughs> Shadow, it's all of us at one Cyrus. point in our life. <laughs> Wasn't me when I got food poisoning. <laughs> That's oh, all no. of us, like Audrey said. Uh, all of us at some point. Yeah, wait. My <laughs> bathroom <the> reaction. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right, ready for the next one? Metallic Archaea. Uh-oh. Boss, you okay? There's an unusual mist in front of your chopper. It could be the same one as before. Cypher is trying to eliminate Code Talker, but we can't save the infected without him. Boss, whatever you do, bring Code Talker back alive. I'm thinking Sahelanthropus. Sahelanthropus. From the helicopter or something like that. Let's not look at the credits. Yeah, okay. Uh, what I can say for now is that I think Kojima sees slash saw Snake as a James Bond type of character. And James Bond changes actor every 15 years or so. Hater voice uh, Snake from 98 to 2010. Okay, that's an interesting perspective. I'm going to bring a rocket launcher just in case. I have this. I don't remember what this is. Hater definitely has a lot of charm to his voice, but by the end of Peace Walker, I just couldn't get behind him playing a jaded and bitter big boss. Yeah. Even though his first performance was a jaded and bitter Solid Snake, I think Kiefer is passable. His performance is definitely a lot more mellow and low-key. Yeah. 
Yeah. Um, this, uh, sorry, Kiefer Sutherland and um, Ocelot's voice now, definitely more mellow. I think subdued, I found a cheese way dramatic. to get rid of his blood. Dramatic, but not the theatrical dramatic. Like, um, Boom. Cleaned up. Nice. Ready? Snake hater. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm looking forward to more of this discussion of the characters and the performances. Yeah. And debriefing. Yeah. It's like, it's interesting. It's like, I miss it. I do miss that yeah. part of Metal Gear Solid because I feel like that's, it did make that, um, you know, it kind of, in my mind, it, that's what makes Metal Gear Solid, Metal Gear Solid. But then this game is also like amazing it's like a the, different expression of it but i do feel the soul of it there the soul okay. is there it's them. we're gonna just oh i hope quiet's here you think quiet's in the chopper this is a mission oh it's the dust is like coming through all the little gaps Ooh. oh my god Oh, no, Be quad! Oh. Wait. What happened? The dust busted the glass open. Oh, and it cut up his face? Yeah. Oh. Let's assume D-Dog's okay. Oh, my God. Did you see it? Yeah. That can't be good, dude. Oh, no. Code Talker. Is Oh, oh don't, no, look, don't look! Not looking! Not looking! Okay. I listen here. La Bamba, Pequod number two, Rip. Oh Tell yeah, us when this we can is look. number two. When can we look? I, I'm I'm kind of looking in my peripheral, but not reading. So he's like kind of crawling out, yeah, crawling, crawling out, crawling. You know what can surpass Metal Gear Nano Machines? I Soon. believe it. We're looking outside the I don't see any more white text, so We're I think We're good. Credits have cleared, thank, thank you. Thank you, La Bamba. Yeah. Is that rust it or looks like you're surrounded by mist. Dust. The support chopper can't get close to your position right now. <gasps> Co talker, how are we doing? Still breathing? Oh, more credits. But I think the The cast. The cast, yeah. yeah. Um, I mean, Metal Gear Solid 4 Big Boss had a different voice actor, yeah. and I think he did a great job. Also, I too got a young and old voice actor, and now we're getting the intermediate stage. This is true. This is true. Oh, I feel like I regret taking the... <gasps> oh. Here we go. I feel like I regret taking the um, rocket launcher. Yeah, so this parasite... Did not skip leg day. <laughs> that or it's like some pus or something, you know? The one that covers. Wait, because he said it covers their skin. Right. So the organism is over their skin. It gives them the strength. Oh! Oh, is it stealing life force? Oh, I don't know. Dude. This is a really awesome one. Wait, what's going on? Oh, we gotta get out of here. Wait, they're like in in the half half muscly yeah. state. Yeah, it's freaking awesome. Like, what's going on? Like mid transformation. Oh, okay. Oh, the armored ones. The one that covers. What? Right? No, no, all of them. You saying the gray skin is? Mm. The parasite. Yeah, 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 yeah. But then the armored ones are just a new version. We are the quarry. Quarry, as in stone. I don't know. I can't take him. Oh! 
Oh god. Oh. Get up. Oh. Wait, are they heading towards the code talker? Ah, zombies! Snake! Talk to me! Snake! Snake! Okay. The thick skulls, oh Embrace no! Embrace the chaos. That's what we're gonna do right now. Yeah, the thick ones. This is gonna miss his network. We won't be able to send in another chopper for now. And you need to eliminate the skulls. Quarry as in talk. you're their target. Part gotcha. one. Okay. Is this oh, Silent Hill 2 footage? <laughs> Oh. Oh my god. Just zipping around. This is not really a threat, huh? Yeah. Does jumping not work? I got a counter. Can't just sprint either. Mm. I should probably put on battle dress instead. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh, dude. Oh my God! How are you gonna do this? We'll be okay. We'll be okay. I have this hope that if I manage a counterattack, it does a lot of damage. Okay. I forgot they did that. What? Throw those huge. Oh, oh under me. That's right. Oh, the. Oh, oh my god, what a waste. I love the mid transformation. Yeah, definitely. Two for one, two for one. Dude! They're like teleporting out of the way, huh? Yeah, it's like passing through them now. Damn it. I almost timed it. Try it. I spammed it. That Mortal Kombat bat We're gore tech. We're dead. Gotcha. Oh. Are you kidding me? That fell what down on me. Heck? Oh. Ooh. Oh, they didn't see me run. Okay. Oh, they're coming down, probably. I almost want to like bait it so I can get the parry. Cause I have, I have this feeling that that's good. Oh no, that's doing more damage than I thought. Um, they remind me of the infamous two villains. As in the second infamous game? Yeah, yeah, the infamous, the second infamous game. Which I I barely know anything about the infamous game. <laughs> I did not oh, there, there, oh, there, there. Oh, nice. <gasps> Whoa! Okay. Cool. That gives us an opening at least. Yeah. Okay. Second Sun is the one you're thinking of, I believe. Oh, Second Sun is the third game. This battle music is so cool. Yeah, it's sweet. Oh, he's regrowing his armor. Yeah. Six counter. Yeah, that was really cool. I need to be more consistent because he's regrowing armor and stuff. Yeah. See, look at him. Yeah. yeah. Ah, that thing fell. Is that? 
Did I take this one out? Casual. I feel like I did. Oh, nice. Maybe. Fudge. No, the the ones back there. Oh. We need to Close. take them out. Infamous isn't infamous without Cole McGrath. I miss Cole. Familiar. That, I guess one of the voice oh actors God. for the game. Or that one's or staying at, di at a distance. You see? Yeah. Oh, oh God, dude! I can't just tunnel vision one of them. Wait, just four? I think there were all this four. Dude, range to fill. Ah, that's cool. They're taking armor off of themselves to manifest weapons. Oh, I hope so, because that means they're using it and up. And boulders to throw at you. Oh, I don't think oh. it does that, but that... Okay, okay. No. Kind of like a, bay a oh bayonetta okay. moment, Please maybe? don't die. A little bayonetta moment? Just a quick punch in the face. This explosive thing's good, too. Wow, you're like fighting five Nightcrawlers slash Jean Grey's at the same time. Yes, Cyrus. I said the same thing when I saw them. I was like, this reminds me of like if a Nightcrawler can do those like phasing or teleporting. Oh boy. No. Uh, did that do something? I wonder if there's like ammo and stuff. Possibly could be a Bayonetta reference considering this game released after Metal Gear Rising, which was made by Platinum Games. At least um, inspired by that concept. I think that kind of concept exists. I forgot. There's. I think there might be a word for that ability. What? Um, I'm remembering there's like a wiki, like a wikia that talks about abilities, but there's one where it's like, they can use their bones as weapons, but they use their own, like, bones to manifest okay, those weapons. Nice! There's a character oh. from Naruto like that. Oh! Okay. Serious. Seriously hurt. I can't. Come on, come on, come on, come on. It won't let me. Don't give up. It keeps interrupting that. Uh. Nice. Dude. Oh wow. One grenade left. I feel like I do need to bait the counter. I'm gonna run out of ammo too, so I need to think about because we can't get supply drops either. Mm -hmm. You thought you were fighting the skulls, but it was me, Barry the Reverse Flash. I think I know about Reverse Flash. Just barely, though. How you meant to non-lethal this? Yeah, angry. Just like looking around for ammo now. Oh man. I'm trying to remember this base where ammo would be. The skulls ate and left no crumbs. Skull. <laughs> they did. CQC only <laughs> and just like smash them on the ground and knock them out that way, but. Oh. Reverse Flash is the pettiest, most dedicated hater in all of fiction. I, I don't know anything about the character, I just know the name. I heard the name before and I was like, really? <laughs> so I don't, I don't really don't know anything. Imagine a world where a spray could save you from wounds. I don't have to imagine it. It's right here. Yeah, we're in one. We're in one. No, dude. This part of the song is so cool. It feels like 
don't know, kind of retro. It. That like that like synth sound. Yeah. Nice. So close, so close. Ah! Yeah. That's one. Neutralized. I'm out of ammo now. Uh. I'm hoping inside here. The game's not gonna give me ammo, is it? No, did they deliberately take away ammo? Oh man, that's rough. I can't call supplies either. Synth wave, Merc. Synth wave. I'm gonna have to look up some synth wave after this. Good, two. Nice. I don't know what I can do though. Two shots. You got this. Are you sure about what you said? Don't help. Don't help. Okay, we're okay. We're okay. We're okay. Yeah. Oh. Ah! Oh, that was another chance too, but I don't have anything to follow up with. It's okay. Oh, the gun's gone. Oh, okay. Find another one of those. Yeah, you got this. Good thinking, Anthony. We got this. <gasps> yeah! Nice. Oh my god. Co Talker! Are you so. That was stressful. I just want to get the F out of here now. Yes, there's a bunch of like. Supply containers everywhere, but I don't want to deal with that right now. Uh, it's fine. We'll, you'll deal with that between on the way. streams. Finally, a use for all those weapons and placements. Damn. We, you used them. D-Dog. We did it. Nicely done. Oh, Tell D-Dog to go for the throw. Could we have done that? I don't know. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. The other ones disappeared already. Oh, oh okay. The map has been updated. Not a weapon? Where? This is B-Quad. Arriving shortly at LZ. Dang. Okay. That was intense. Oh, Lavama thinks supply drops were available for this? Oh, he said because of the mist we couldn't get supplies in. Like, he said that in the story, right? Or he said the chopper couldn't get in, but I wonder Oh, but maybe if, drops. But maybe drops were okay? Ah, uh, okay. I just made okay. an assumption. That's all right. That's all right. Yeah, I mean, I feel like story-wise, that makes sense. That you wouldn't be able to get supply drops into the mist for some reason. Yeah. But, um, yeah, that's fine. You can fold in the skills now. We so have under a minute? Oh, really? Sorry, what? Because I always said you could fold in the skulls. But it said it had the X on it. Oh. oh, pretty sure you need to. Oh, non lethal. Okay, okay. That, makes that was different. We didn't get in the chopper. That was a fair assumption, yeah. They could have made that clear. Wait, is everyone cured now? Um, has been added. Is everyone Parasites. Mission complete. Cured? At least you made it out in one piece. Hey. See for cool. See for cool. Um, all it takes is a reminder when you run up out of ammo the first time. Yeah. This is true. You still got Fox? Yeah, you if they were just like, oh, you're out of ammo, we can't send you anything. You have to make do. Mm. Oh man. <gasps> we made it back. Wait, what? What's going on? Wait, why? Skullface is no longer in Africa. I was also out there. Yeah, that felt like a closing for Africa. We're going to the next now region now. Oh, where do you think we're going? Satellites didn't read any test. Neither did seismometers. The detonation test took place five years ago. What? Southern Indian Ocean. The final oh. test was the opposite. To prevent detonation. You mean? Skullface plans to sell nuclear weapons that he retains control of. 
It's not like hawking small arms to militias. Indeed. He plans to avoid detection. By exporting minerals containing tiny amounts of uranium. In the form of metallic archaea. Once on site, the metallic archaea enrich the uranium mm -hmm. and weaponize it. Loaded onto all terrain bipedal machines. They ensure any country, armed group, even the smallest terrorist cell, can become a nuclear mm. power. Bipedal. So that's why they needed Huey. A new business to replace the arms business. And Skullface owns the market. The very atmosphere of nukes, anywhere and everywhere. Deterrence on all sides. That's why he ran a non-detonation test. Yes. Another metallic archaea instantly overrides the criticality generator. Oh. Fail safe only he could. Wow. Do. So he's selling nukes, but he's also the only one that can Any stop them. Such weapon can be deactivated whenever he chooses, regardless of who owns it. Wow. When did he do that or test? Their intent to use it. Five years ago. Oh, oh, oh that. <laughs> Controlled by a man. Not a country. <sighs> so it was a nuclear test, but nuclear disabling test. Conventional nukes lose all value. Political, military, and economic. The two superpowers become powerless. Mm. Mm? Okay, I think I'm going to need a refresher. Five years ago was the a detonation test, so they know nukes are gotcha. with a proposal for a new suit that applies code talkers <gasps> research. The parasite suit. Here we go. Apparently it can recreate some of the skull's unusual abilities. But in order to use those abilities, it needs parasites. If you want to wear this suit, you're gonna need to get a hold of parasites by extracting oh. skulls. Time to farm some skulls. Time to farm some skulls. That's very exciting, actually. Do we still need to give me some stuff? Give me an update regarding the uh, quarantining of our soldiers. Yeah, how do we get? M oh, are we gonna make a decision about that microbe with the? That's right. With the, the infertility one that, yeah. side effect. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Here we go. I needed more. We need to stop the epidemic at Mother Base. Dude. About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base, mm -hmm. what's your opinion? Textbook symptoms of vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casualty list, it is the Kikongo strain. Meaning, a breed of parasite that triggers symptoms upon detecting pronunciation specific to Kikongo. Mm -hmm. So how do we keep them from becoming symptomatic? Use this. A type of Wolbachia. Introduced to a sample of the parasite. This is what he was telling us about. Mm -hmm. Parasitic bacteria that colonizes the parasites. Oh, they're doing it. Turning male to female. Oh, but we're doing this. Population. We must cultivate more. Uh oh, but. Okay, we're just making a decision here. We're not. Yeah. It's not a. We're gonna We're explain boss. later. I mean, I think they'd prefer to be alive. I don't know, but ethically and morally, we don't know how to reconcile yeah, this. But, yeah. oh, but we're trying to save our soldiers here. You know, this is rough. Yeah. If they return to base, forty-eight hours, it's ended. Oh wow! Yeah, 
that prevents the parasite from doing the nasty. Yeah. Not only prefer to keep them alive, prefer to keep the disease Thanks from getting talker. out of mother base. This is We've true. We managed to put a stop to any new vocal cord parasite infections. We couldn't save those already symptomatic. But everyone who survived has been released from the quarantine platform. Whose perspective is this? Need a soldier that recovered. Oh, well, okay. Miller? Skullface will pay for this. His sunglasses. Oh, his sunglasses say Metal Gear Solid four, uh, five on the side. Oh, dang! I kind of want those. They probably sell those, don't? They? Probably, yeah. Okay. Not only prefer to keep them alive, prefer to keep the disease from getting out of Mother Base Egg. Mm. True. Room one hundred and one. Go. Again with the truth serum. What are those legs made of? Titanium? All the way to the femur. <laughs> oh, dude. Uh, that's not truth serum. That's, that's hot sauce. Archaea. Oh. oh. Sohilanthropus. Where is it? Uh-oh. Uh, what? We have to know before his plan is complete. Sir Helanthropus is the final piece. W w what are you talking about? If the Soviets break out a mobile, controllable nuclear weapon... East-West relations will be right back at the Cuban Missile Crisis. The Cold War returns to life. As countries without nuclear arsenals line up for what skull face is selling. Nuclear weapons proliferate overnight. And on the brink of annihilation, the world maintains its balance. But we know this is all just a shield, a ruse. The cleansing parasites are what matter most. A WMD to eclipse even nukes, and the only one that can still be you. WMD? The parasite. Skullface is the world's greatest yeah, the name threat. Of it? No, a weapon of mass destruction. Oh, was it a weapon of mass destruction. Place. All that remains is to unveil Sohilanthropus in Afghanistan. Well, they can't activate it without me. Oh! Get it. It's spicy. Okay, B Zero. The Philanthropist is beyond he the Soviet base camp. He's been withholding in a lab built by the Soviet philosophers. Soviet the philosopher. <gasps> That's what you're looking for. Why is he withholding this information? But I have no idea how he's controlling it. It wasn't designed to accommodate a human pilot. So mini mantis. What is Huey's game here? Wait on, dude. You know, oh God, you know what I think it is? What? Oh, I have a prediction. His family? His family? They have Otacon hostage. We got a sunny situation you with the Patriots. So? Maybe. I don't know. That's the only way I can forgive him. Right? Because he's pretty gross right now. Don't you Why? think? Yeah, does he? <sighs> no. 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 Oh. Wait. Damn, that's. Oh. Oh. Dude, that could be so cool. That was intense. That was really intense. We got word from Afghanistan. Snake, take a shower. It's raining. Everyone at the Soviet base camp's dead. No sign of fighting. Whoa. Parasites. 
Skull face his men, then headed north. The target is OKB-0. That's where he'll activate Sahelanthropus. Unless we stop him, Ooh. he'll go down in history a conquering victor. We can't let that happen. Wipe him out. Don't leave any trace of his existence. Dude, Kaz's performance is consistently incredible. I'm gonna need backup on this one. Backup. Quiet. Quiet. Quiet and D-Dog and D-Horse, please! We did the one-hour cutscenes for these tighter, more intense scenes, and it's totally good. Yeah, I like totally it. Totally good, yeah. You know, Kaz has been able to... Kaz's voice actor was able to transition from the campy Metal Gear Solid to the yeah, Drama he made the transition. I mean, he's an accomplished voice actor. I forget his name. Wait, no, D. Walker? Oh, and D. And Walker. D. Walker. Yeah, too. yeah, yeah, sorry. Audrey hasn't really seen D. Walker in action. I haven't, and also, I don't know, I just... Uh, don't it's also gold. Uh, yeah, I know, I it's a buddy, it but you know, but when I think of buddies, I think of, you know, buddies. Okay. Not not uh, machines, I guess. Dude, okay, first thing is, is everyone clear of the quarantine? Discharged from quarantine. Yeah. We don't even have a quarantine anymore. Nice. Yes, we got our soldiers back. <laughs> Why are we still here just to suffer? Yeah, I believe t uh, the Phantom Pain is the most cinematic updated. of all the, the Metal Gear Solid games. I'll have to agree. All right, ground Zeroes. Ground Ground Zeroes was for sure also very cinematic. Yeah. Development project has been added. Okay, uh, let me just check all this stuff. Looks like we have some important cassette tapes. It's been a while since we've had a yellow cassette tape, I feel like. Oh, good point. And then let me just Please see the next mission is Skull oh! Face. This is called Skull Face. Take We're just going after them before they take them out. mobilize and start selling the nukes, yeah. a.k.a. start spreading the parasite. We got to take them out. Okay. Um, all right, honestly... We're going to save this main op for the Please next stream. Mission. All right. Sounds good. Right? But let's listen to these tapes. Hey, Azer. Excited for that mission. Yeah. Sounds sorry. Good. I know you guys are excited. I'm excited. Aww. But we don't. We can't, we can't go too visit. late. Thank you. Thank you so much for the Thank follow. Thank you, Angry, for the follow. We really appreciate it. Mini dance party for you. Yeah. <laughs> Metal Gear Solid 4 is basically a movie spaced out with unrelated gameplay sections. <laughs> Five definitely links the gameplay and cutscenes better. The transition, yeah, Dave yeah, yeah. I, I, I see that. But thank you guys for hanging out. We're gonna listen to the tapes for sure. We're just gonna wrap some stuff up. We can't go too late tonight. We have some stuff to take care of. But um, let's listen to the tapes and then we'll just discuss what happened today for a little bit. Yeah, I got questions. For sure, for sure. But chat, don't answer the questions. Wait, what is this? What did we get? Yes. Okay. Dude. All right. I think we got a couple tapes. We got 12 tapes. But not all of them are the yellow ones. Yeah. Right? Okay. We have two yellow ones there and then one this one. Okay. Uh, let's listen to the yellow ones. All right. And then I will listen to the white ones off stream and decide whether or not Audrey needs to hear them next cool. stream. Is that cool? Yeah. All right. Let's do it. About the pathogen spreading through Mother Base. You've seen everything we've got on the outbreak. What's your opinion? Textbook symptoms. A vocal cord parasite infestation. And judging from this casual... We just heard this, right? I think so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we yeah. just heard this. Okay. Just During the, the cutscene? Yeah. The breed of parasite. Now, Nuclear testing in South Africa is a white tape that's worth listening to. Thank you. We'll check it out. In the larvae. How is the disease transmitted? It's carried by insects or rodents, then. There is no intermediate host. So... The vocal cord parasites lay their eggs in the larynx of the host. Most hatch and migrate to the lungs. But some are transported to the mouth through ciliary movement. Mixing in with saliva. Saliva. Droplet transmission. Sneezing, coughing. Any food or water containing infected saliva, Dude. it would spread fast. 
This is crazy. Too relevant. This is how come they all the games are always relevant? Symptoms can resemble the Years early later. stages of a cold, making it easy to infect others. Meaning a simple conversation would be enough to pass it on. Oh my God. All right, so what happens after a weapon to surpass Metal Gear. It is as I said before. You always think it's just like a bigger Metal Gear, right? By feeding on alveolar tissue. It is only then that noticeable symptoms appear in the host. And by that point, it's too late. He's infected everyone else. It's one hell of a weapon you've created. That is what Blag Anna wanted. Something that would spread easily. Mm. In truth, he's not the reason. But we will discover. Oh, go no! Talk about it now, yeah, please. Like, we don't know please. anything about this guy either. Um, so it's possible that you could carry the parasite, but it wouldn't breed and thrive unless you spoke the specific language that it was programmed for, right? Yeah, but then if you're just gonna program one for each language and send it out to you, like. But this explains why on our base only people who spoke Kikongo yeah. showed symptoms eventually, because. Yeah. Yeah, because uh, because the it, the speaking pronouncing certain aspects of that particular language yeah. caused the male and female parasites to then dang. So then, shouldn't the people who we didn't quarantine shouldn't they also go through the treatment? Because they still I think they just I think they will oh, probably literally everyone on base needs to have sense. the treatment yeah. right. Yeah, because they carried the parasite, they could give it to someone. Well, didn't they say that if they just give it to some people, the the parasites parasite is which it's a parasitic bacteria that infects the parasite. They said that'll spread too. Say again. What we gave them was a oh, parasitic yeah, yeah, yeah. bacteria. Yes, yes. So we don't necessarily need to inject everyone; it'll just spread. Oh, oh yeah. So, uh, I think so. oh, I see. So then, um, yeah. I think that makes sense. But if we want to make sure. Yeah, uh, which we probably did. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, Ash said nuclear testing in South Africa as well. Let's just listen to these last two, and then we'll. Close it out. Okay, okay. Thank you sounds for the good. recommendation. Yeah, thank you, Ash. This guy kind of sounds like John Goodman. What are the I need to know this. What is this? Volcanic craters spewing sulfur. Water hot enough to boil your skin off. Ocean depths of 800 plus atmospheres. Wastelands radioactive enough to kill you where you stand. Okay. There are groups of organisms that survive uh -huh. despite. Yeah. No. Because of living in such environments. I've heard about them. Extremo... Extremophiles? Something. Extremophiles. By selecting certain species, yeah. then subculturing and repeatedly modifying them, I created a metallic... Oh, I know about extremophiles. Archaea. They subsist on metals. Whoa, dude. Organic Living organisms some that... Some of them even consume uranium. Yes. <laughs> uranium enrichment archaea metabolize only uranium. That's so five. specific. As a result, they produce weapons great enriched uranium. So that's how he's... How is that possible? Enriching. Consider how plants fractionate carbon isotopes when they conduct photosynthesis. Nature possesses abilities beyond our imagination. He's using bacteria so to enrich the uranium. So it was archaea that brought down your chopper? Corrosive archaea. Oh, that's what happened yeah. on the outside of the ship. Oh, they corrosive. That's why, so it was rust. Yeah. It wasn't just the, the, energy in the mist they dust. What became of the wreckage? We had the R&D team retrieve samples for study in uh, airtight plastic containers, of course. Prudent. We shall extract our chaos from it in good time. They should help you fight back against Black Anna. Any chance we can I'm guessing that's now? Skullface. It doesn't have to be a lot. I might just have another use for it. Uh-oh. If it's only a small amount you need. That's fine. I'll get the R&D team to assist. Let's go. Look at that be? Dude, this is... I love dipping into the sci-fi. Yeah, which but they do in the series. Yeah, it's, it's so fun. It's like, yeah, I love, I love. It's based in uh, in real science, and then yeah. they have their little. Uh, the extremophiles, yeah, I actually uh, learned about those recently. 
when I went to Yellowstone National Park. Yeah, they that's have awesome. The, um, that's awesome. What is this called? Like the hot sulfur, sulfuric... Uh, the geysers? Geysers. The geysers yeah, 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 yeah. They talked about that. Oh, like, this oh, was pre-torturing Huey. Okay, thank you, Merc. Oh, yeah, right, Yeah, that's right, the right. use he had for it. Okay, okay. okay. then this last one, thanks to uh, Ash's recommendation. South Africa was previously suspected of developing nuclear weapons. It already had a conspicuous presence at the UN because of apartheid and its armed expansionism. But when neighboring Angola and Mozambique became socialist countries in 74, South Africa felt hounded into a corner. So it accelerated its nuclear program to protect itself. Three years later, the Soviets discovered a test facility. And two years after that, an American satellite observed a flash in the southern Indian Ocean. Okay. It said this was South Africa conducting a nuclear test with the help of a certain ally. Skullface used the situation in South Africa to get this ally to lend a hand. They both wanted nukes, so it was a mutually beneficial relationship. On the surface, anyway. I figure South Africa started getting serious about nuclear weapons production in 75. In 74, the government was still able to get by with bluffing that it had a nuclear arsenal. But the year after, Word spread that an independent armed group in the Caribbean was crushed by Cypher for possessing a WMD. That's right, boss. What happened to you and your men was the reason South Africa decided oh. to push ahead with nuclear development. Dang. A force independent of any country getting its hands on a nuke. That was a threat to the existence of countries everywhere. Yeah, we're fighting the times. South Africa, your presence pushed a lot of countries to get nukes. The world was scared of Yeah, you. the speech at the end of you Peace Walker. You were a threat mm -hmm. to more than just the Cold War. If nations are gears in a machine, you had the power to smash them loose and watch the whole world grind to a halt. Dude. Yeah, thanks for the recommendation, Ash. That yeah, thank you, Ash. So I'll review all the other ones too off stream and then we'll decide and we'll, and we'll just probably open the next stream with it. Sounds good. Yeah, um, <laughs> Ash said... There's a storm outside, and the first two flashes of lightning were like bombs going off. It actually scared me. Been there. Been there. Um, Would you mind if I just return to Mother Base? No, go for it. Go for it. Because I heard there's a bacteria that was feeding on the rust of the Titanic ship. Yeah, in the bottom of the ocean. For real. I mean. If this triggers a cutscene, I don't want to miss it off stream. Oh, for sure. That's all. That's yeah. All. And I want to be able to play off stream. Um, it's crazy where life can thrive. Yes, dude. Yeah. Yeah, and, and the extremes of the earth. Extremophiles. Extremophiles, dude. Really interesting. I'm like kind of hoping for a cutscene here. Yeah. Ooh, does it feel like maybe not? Addicted, yeah. Merc well, I mean, just if if I can't go back to Mother Base without triggering a cutscene, then I can't play off stream, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just one more, just one more, you know? Just one more. Let's check one more thing. I, I don't mind looking at D-Dog here, too. Of course, D-Dog. Boy. Yeah, Murph, the gameplay is fun, too. That's part of it. Dude, story's Love getting real spicy. Mm -hmm. Love the base at nighttime, too. Yeah. yeah. So, there's two parasite strains we've established. We know how the... I don't know what it's called, but the ethnic cleanser strain. Yeah. We know how that one spreads, and that was through um, droplets. And we know how it, um, I don't know, how it thrives or how it breeds and things. Uh -huh. But the other one, what's up with that one? To make the skull soldiers? Yeah, you yeah. Mean? We don't know that. We don't know anything about that one. We don't. Roger. Um, All right. So That's I'm, it for the stream, guys. Yeah, so I'm wondering for the one, for the, the parasite, the one that covers... Is, I'm, not, I'm just gonna call it that one. Yeah. How does that one spread? And yeah, or does it have to be administered to specific soldiers that they want to create? Like, are they created by Skullface? Well, it looks like in the field when we've had those missions, there's that like kind of like black cloud that kind of like goes to the soldier, and then suddenly yeah, like, uh, that that could be just their their individual powers. It could. Yeah, that's true. It could be. But uh, yeah, no. So we got the regular ones, we got the armored ones, and we got the sniper ones, mm -hmm. right? So I, and then I, I commented like, "Oh, is that why quiet is quiet? So she wouldn't." Uh, yeah, but then it would be. So does that mean that she has both strains? Because she has the skin thing. She's just not gray. Yeah. And she seems to be herself still. 
And there, oh yeah, there is that aspect about the, the eyes thing. Maybe that's yeah, but the, we didn't see that in any other. So yeah, she, yeah, yeah. She she might have the vocal cord one. She might also have this uh, the one that covers. But she yeah. might also have this eye thing or whatever that that, that we've only ever seen on the guy. Yeah, co talker. Co talker. So we don't know what any of this stuff is. Yeah. But Just at least so one, questions. one uh, mystery has been kind of um, we're getting more information about. Not I wouldn't say it's solved, but at least we kind of have a better idea about it. That yeah. the uh, ethic cleanser strain. Yeah, so pretty intense. Crazy. It's more intense than I ever thought it would have been. Yeah. But the concept of a um, a weapon to surpass, surpass Metal Gear. It's always been like Metal Gear, who has the biggest weapons to scare everyone mm -hmm. else about mm -hmm. their weapons. Mm -hmm. And then ultimately here it's, you know, a biological weapon. Yeah. I mean, it's like, uh, yeah. like, uh, what is it? What Snake was dealing with in four? In, oh, yeah, Fox Die, yeah. Yeah, Fox Die, Fox yeah. Die, yeah, yeah. Fox Die, Fox Die. This Freaking is. intense. Thank you guys for coming along with this journey. It's very exciting. Yeah. It's incredibly satisfying that Audrey and I both get to speculate together Yay. for the first time in all these mm. games. Thanks for hanging out, Dan. Thanks, Dan. Thank you guys all for hanging out. Just a couple reminders. Um, well, I mean, check out our schedule. Here's the links mm -hmm. um, in chat for you. Yep. Definitely want to, uh, you know, if you want to stay the most up to date with us, Discord is the best way. And yep. uh, another more reminders again next Monday, October 24th. Yep. Is our Halloween stream. We're Halloween. Gonna be playing Eternal Darkness. Is that? Right. Yeah, Eternal Sanity's Darkness, Sanity's Requiem. Requiem. We're going to be in our Halloween costumes, Metal Gear Solid Halloween costumes. So you're definitely yep. going to want to come back. Look to forward to that. that. Um, or check the VOD at least. Yep. Um, and then Tomorrow night, I'm continuing my first playthrough of Metroid Prime. Mm -hmm. But then after next week, Audrey and I are taking a little bit of vacation from streaming. Yep. We have some real life stuff to take care of, but mm -hmm. we'll be back uh, like a week or two into November. Sounds good. But that also means know the phantom pain for a little while a little bit a little bit so just check our schedule here on twitch and on our discord we'll update it soon yeah but uh we still have a couple streams until uh, our little vacation so stay tuned stay tuned should be fun yeah. um and while we're gone we're not really gone so feel free to chat with us on our discord we'd love that for sure for sure um is there anything else so we got holler any we're going on our vacation yeah we um what a cliffhanger to leave on the next yeah. thing is literally called Skull Face, right? The, yeah. the, the next main uh, scenario. It's going to be, it what? feels like some major mid-game climax. Kind yeah. Of thing. What if we, what if we get him? Then what? Will we get him? If we get him, uh -huh. if we get him at this point, I feel like there's something else oh, behind him. Above I feel him. like there's always something behind him. Yeah. Uh, behind the one we think is the, the enemy or the It's villain. Ocelot. It's always Ocelot. No, don't say that. It's always Ocelot at the end of the Wait, credits it talking to someone. Wait, it is always Ocelot. It is. But we'll see. Oh, this is our phantom pain. <laughs> <laughs> this is our phantom pain. Thank you guys for hanging out. We really appreciate it. Um, this game is... Uh, I'm like jiving with this game more than I thought I would. And, yeah, uh, you're it's driving. It's a ton of fun. Yeah, it's cool. It's and cool. hopefully you're, uh, you're engaged. Audrey, I, you're yeah, today it. was really exciting. Yeah, these last couple of streams have had a lot of story progression. It's been <sighs> cool. But just more questions. Never very many answers. Otacon reveal when? I don't know. Did you like my theory of that? I like it. Because Huey, you were you straight up asked, like, why in his situation is he still withholding information? Yeah. I think the only answer I would like to improve our, his standing with us, the player, mm -hmm. is he has a child that the philosophers are holding hostages as hostage. Mm -hmm. And if he reveals some information... They might harm the child. Yeah, or something. which is a sunny situation. Or his family. With um, Olga. Yeah, and then at then at this point, since he he's revealed what he's revealed, shouldn't maybe we he should reveal if that's the case. Just reveal what's going on with him. There might be more to it then, but yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. Or he's just. I feel like if he reveals too much. And the enemy realizes how much information we have, then they can come to the conclusion that Huey talked. Yeah. So he's only giving us a little, so he can hide behind that doubt. I mean, he's still gonna Maybe. hide stuff when we're threatening him with metallic Archaea Dude, up in his face. 
Hot ones. We'll see. Hot ones. The, the last, last dab. dab, dude. Yeah, I'll put a little on the little extra on the last one. On you, don't the last one. Yeah, you don't have to. You don't have to. I'm just kidding. Um, it's a wild ride for sure. <sighs> Cipher. Cy- and when? we appreciate you guys hanging out with us. Zero. When are we gonna see zero? Well, we may not even. We maybe he's because this cipher yeah. we're dealing with is like just an offshoot of um, the Skullface Crew, yeah. Yeah, Soviet philosophers, dude. Even if they have Otacon, Otacon wasn't born yet until when the first Mother Base inspection went bad, and they still suspect Huey was complicit. I mean, that's that's true. That was yeah. A lot of our hesitation to bring Huey here was because of that stuff. Yeah, but yeah. He says that he wasn't. But it was very, I mean, when We're it was... We're just ha- speculating with incomplete information for sure. Yeah. When it was happening, I was like, this is sketchy stuff anyway. Yeah. So thank you guys very much. Um, so just upcoming is tomorrow is Metroid Prime. Sunday is more Metroid Prime with me. And then Monday is Hall Yeah. And then the rest of the schedule is here on Twitch and on our Discord. Thank you guys very much. Mm-hmm. Do you have anything else, Audrey? No. I'm excited. Metal Gear Solid. Yeah. Come check out our costumes on Monday. I'm kind of excited about yeah. it. Yeah. They're budget, but it's fun. <laughs> It'll be a good time. Yeah. Thank you all. We're going to try to find someone to raid. And if anyone has any recommendations, we're totally open to those. But um, anyway, my name is Audrey. And I'm Anthony. Together, we're Rianne. Thanks for hanging out tonight. See you guys again soon.